All right, let's get this party started. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all having an amazing Sunday. First and foremost, thank you. Thank you for being here and taking some of your precious time to see me play the game. So I know, I know I've been away for, for quite a while. Uh, been a busy life, but uh, now I'm back to play some City Skylines 2 and hopefully have, have some fun with you guys. So first things first, I want to know if you guys can hear me properly, if the audio is, is working fine. Okay, perfect. Okay, so guys, this is, this is kind of new to me. Um, first live stream, as you can see. Actually, I've had uh, one live, live stream before on Twitch, like three years ago, uh, with a face cam, but I've never uh, done it again. So this is pretty much the first live stream that I'm doing on YouTube. So naturally, the content and the gameplay is going to be a bit different than usual um, because it's live uh, live gameplay so no editing um, and the building is going to be a bit slow but we're here to have a good time and relax and not play uh, the game in a rushed way at least that's the way I like to play so once again thank you for being here um, I hear that the music is a bit high so perhaps I can lower it a bit more um, is the music too high? If so, I can uh, put it a bit low, no, no problem with that. Yes, Samuel, I will only be playing City Skylines for today. Uh, City Skylines 2, the, the newest game that has just launched. just a little bit so you can hear me properly but um oh hello Samuka been a long time I remember you for like uh, a lot of years you've been following me for like you know four or five years I believe nice to, he to see you here and welcome welcome to the stream okay um so with this we can we can start um, the game so um I think the most interesting thing would be to start a completely new city from scratch. And um, there's also the possibility of continuing the city that I've created, you know, the most recent video that I have on YouTube with that particular uh, city. But I think it's more interesting to, to start a new one. And I, I believe that the majority of you agree with this. Thank you, Jean Almeida, for um, the subscription. Thank you so much. Thank you for the support. So, oh, and before I forget, I know that a lot of people want to know my specs and want to know the, the options uh, that I'll be using for the game. So the specs are pretty much uh, pinned at the top of the chat. Those are my computer specs. As for the gameplay options. So first and foremost, I set the global graphics quality to medium on everything. And then I've done a few adjustments, namely uh, disable vSync. Uh, disable dynamic resolution, disable volumetrics, disable depth of field. So pretty much everything that um, causes your game to lag. And you guys probably already know this, that the game is severely unoptimized and laggy. So anything that we can do to make the game run smoother, especially because I will be live streaming from just one machine, which is going to be quite chaotic. Um, and resource intensive, so anything to help the game run, run smoother. Okay, so for uh, the game um, and for the map that they will be choosing, 
I still haven't decided this yet. I was thinking about the mountain village. I think it would be very, um, I don't know, um, it would be suitable for an European village, uh, an European style village with this small island in the middle where you could place a castle and or a bronze statue or, or whatever. Uh, but there are other uh, also interesting maps. I don't know if you guys have any suggestions on this, but for the time being perhaps I can show you what I have in mind. So I'm just going to start a new game really, really quick with uh, everything unlocked and only unlimited money so we can plan out the city. But this is pretty much what, what I have in mind. So the reason I've started a new game with uh, everything unlocked is just so I can plan a bit better. With everything unlocked you can see the natural resources of the map, you can see everything pretty much. And it allows you to plan accordingly, which, uh, you know, it's, it's much easier. So I, I like to study the maps in advance, especially when I don't know them. But for this map in particular, I don't think we have a shipping connection. No, we don't. It's actually the only, the only connection that the, this map does not have. But it has a highway connecting to two different cities, and we also have a rail road that goes alongside the city and connects with the other city to the right side, so to the east. And I don't know. I think f for this particular map, um, we could have a downtown area concentrated right at the point where um, the three rivers merge, you know, and you can even do something very interesting with this island. So for example, you could create a story around it and pretend that a long time ago there was like a medieval castle right in the middle for uh, defending the city. So something like this, you know. Or like this and you could you know create a story around your city and make it more interesting and motivate you to, to keep playing it Elgards no unfortunately I don't remember you but um, I'm glad that you joined the live stream on Twitch so you pretty much know what's What's the experience going to be today? So, and, and welcome, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for, for being here with us. And there are also other interesting stuff that you could do with this map. So, for example, if you check on the natural resources, um, I don't know, this area over here to the north would be suitable for an oil industry. You know, it's right on top of a plateau and it's also very next to the to the rail so you could actually extend the rail all the way over here and make it easier to import and, and export cargo same thing with this huge cluster of, of farming land and even another oil uh, reserve over here if you happen to extend the city that that far And then you, of course, you also have these gigantic mountains and <laughs> look at this glitch over here. You have an entire map filled with, with snow. But, uh, you know, ignoring that, uh, these mountains could be suitable to build cool stuff. You could, you know, concentrate, as I've said, the downtown area right in this flat uh, area right here in the valley which is uh, very suitable and, and easier to build but you could also have some winding roads that climb on top of the mountains and go all the way to the top you know over here from uh, going through this hill through these trees and kind of create something here for example a prison or an observatorium a satellite for example so i think it's uh, this asset here you know could be placed here if you happen to have that tile So something like this or even you know, to make it more interesting put it on top of the hill itself 
and then just make a winding road that goes all the way and connects to the city at the bottom. Oh, so I think my camera is frozen. Let me just see if I can uh, fix that real quick. Just give me a second, guys. Okay, I think that's that's fixed. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is one of the things that we could do with this map. But then we also have other options. Um, so for example... Let's go to Windy Fjords, which I believe it's the most... Or one of the most... Um, demanding and challenging maps of the entire game because you have these huge mountains that um, block the access to the to the sea where you have the only ship connection here but uh, if it's challenging it's also very um, I don't know it, it, there could be a lot of opportunity here to create a very interesting city. So, for example, um, you could definitely build your downtown area right over here at the, the starting area because it's the flattest area and uh, the easiest one to build on. But you could also extend the downtown area you know, through these uh, flat areas at the base of the mountain and make small winding roads that provide access to these to these areas and you know even over here you could make a tunnel you know a, a road that converts it to a tunnel and provides access to this to this way to have a small uh, village or a small town you know it would, it would be interesting to have you know large skyscrapers perhaps not sky skyscrapers but large density areas uh, alongside the mountains. I think that would make a very interesting concept, for example. So, um, I don't know, I think we're gonna start a city uh, right now. And so we don't waste any more time with that. Um, perhaps we can um, use the other map that I told you about. So the, uh, let me see the name. The mountain village map. What do you guys think about that? You guys agree in building a city and starting a city in this map? I also brought my tea, by the way. Suggest you do the same. Alright, so we can start with that. Um, so of course I'm gonna unlock 
or uncheck these, these options, of course. Uh, I don't think I will be playing with natural disasters, I think I want to focus on, on building the city. Um, I'm going to disable tutorials, uh, I don't think it's, you know, very relevant. Be especially because uh, I've already played a city, so I know pretty much more or less how the game how the game works, even though uh, I'm not a pro yet, there's a lot of people that, that know how to play this game better than me already. And also, I've also been uh, very inactive uh, through the past couple of weeks, so I haven't played this game as much as I would have liked. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna build and, and play along and, and see what we can come up with. As for the city name, um, I don't know. Let's, this is a valley, so perhaps we can have a valley in the name. But perhaps something uh, before that as well. Just thinking of something. Because I am extremely, extremely uh, original. I'm gonna call it Green Valley. <laughs> because there's a lot of trees here and a lot of forest. Um, unless, of course, there's uh, another uh, relevant suggestions for, for a city name that, I, that we can use. Mr. Design Magic series, yes, I know Dreamer, that's, that was the, you know, the series that kind of got my channel going, it was the first big series that I've done on this channel. I've completed the, the first series, you know, season one successfully, but the other ones, I kind of, you know, left them un unfinished, you know, life kind of got, got in the way, and I've also noticed that uh, the more City Skylines uh, developed, the more DLCs came out the more unplayable the game got and it was very very hard for me to, to play that game to be completely honest with you you know loading a city and waiting 20 to 30 minutes for the city to load is just not a pleasant gameplay experience for for me so it got to a point where you know there just was not enough motivation to to play that game and i was playing without virtually any mods which is completely ridiculous so city skylines 2 has its problems but it's a breath of fresh air it's a new beginning and I'm looking very very forward to it and hopefully I can um, I don't I'm not gonna say that I'm going to commit to a new designer managed series but one of the things that I could probably do is commit more to live stream um, because there's not a lot of editing work over there so for example in a design and managed series I would take between 10 to 20 hours to edit a video that would be 10 to 20 minutes, you know, and with live streaming it's it's much more easier and much more intuitive and allows me to focus more on, on playing the game and, and um, you know, building the city. What do you do for work? I work in e-commerce for a national retailing company, more specifically I work in performance marketing, so um, I do Google campaigns. So you know those ads that you see on Google? You know, whenever you make a search and you see that the top result is an advertisement or you also see, if you're looking for a, for a particular product, you see advertisements for those products at the top. That's pretty much what I do for uh, the company that, that I work for. I manage, I manage all those campaigns and I manage the, the Google Ads campaigns uh, strategy pretty much. So, okay, this is what we have so far, so city name Green Valley, European theme, no disasters, and um, yeah, I think we can start. One particular thing about this map it, it is, it's that it doesn't have a ship connection, so it's going to be a, a bit limited, but other than that, I think it's a very good map to start on. So let's go and start working on it. Also, by the way, guys, if you notice any performance issues, if the game gets too laggy for you guys, uh, let me know because I cannot uh, really um, <laughs> notice if something happens because for me the game is running just, just fine. Okay, so right from the start we have this particular layout. I'm not sure if I want to keep this uh, roundabout, what I'm thinking 
is so basically we have two options that we need to plan if we want to extend the highway um, through this side but because there's nothing over here there's not really a point for it so i don't think i'm going to plan for a future highway extension but one of the things that could be uh, possible of doing was to expand the highway over here and bring it all the way to the north side and connect to the oil industry and eventually connect to this highway as well um, i don't think that's going to be necessary so i just think i'm gonna keep this regular connection and let the highway end right here so i'm not gonna leave any additional space for for a highway but we can start with a road um, layout let me just take a look at the comments to see make sure that i haven't missed anything currently do not have a mods community or community assets no not at the moment and i believe from what i've read that the modding uh, system for this game is not going to be on steam it's going to be on an external platform managed by colossal order so that console players also can benefit from, from modding as well. Which I think it's fantastic. I think um, console players were missing a lot when it came to, to, to modding and customization. Okay, so let me just think a little bit about this. So I think I'm going to expand my residential area all the way over here. And I think we can start with the temporary industrial area here. Because we are going to, to need some industry. And as we expand the city, we can move it further to the south part, perhaps to this side of, of the map, so it doesn't interfere with the development here. If we take a look at the wind pollution, the wind is blowing to the south, so yeah, it's perfect. The industry should be, um, you know, where the wind is blowing, so that, because if I place it to the north here, uh, the wind is going to blow the air pollution on top to the top of, of the houses and the residential and commercial which is definitely not uh, not good anyway the shipping connection in city skylines 2 you can add shipping lines you would not uh, add a shipping connection to the outside world unless you have you know sea connecting to the world at least that's that's what i believe So let's start with this. I think this is a good um, starting avenue. Perhaps we can take advantage of that. So let's just grab the same level road and extend it perhaps all the way to here. And I don't think I want to make a super rigid grid, even though that would be the most optimal way of zoning. But you know, in order to keep things interesting, I think I want to um, mix everything, mix the layout and, and add some interesting features and not have everything as a grid. Whenever you have these uh, small gaps, I think you can erase them by simply uh, making a road on top of this. So it rebuilds the road and it uh, deletes that, that empty gap that was over there, which is great. So I think I'm going to have my main road, my main avenue curve here, then extend all the way here, and then we can straighten it again. Okay, and I think that's going to be a good basis to building our city, and we can even extend the avenue to this side so you can start preparing for the um, industrial district so you can start now making some grids and i don't know what kind of grid i'm gonna make but perhaps i can um, leave a couple of blocks in between perhaps uh, two or three i don't know but uh, let's just see i want to snap to the center of this road, which is not being possible, but if you disable this uh, guide, I believe, snap to guidelines, no, this is not the one, I think it's this one, snap to zoning cell length, 
yep, if you do that, you can now snap to uh, the uh, central point of the, the road. So let's see. I can enable it again. Actually, let's go all the way over here. And now we can connect here. So this is um, 131 meters. Actually, I think I want to go with 128, so just to make sure we have everything perfect. Okay, so this can be our starting grid. And I'm actually extending past um, the avenue so that we can create some um, some guidelines and extend the grid all the way here. And let's just uh, keep doing the same. another 128 meters and perhaps we can do another block one of the things that I like about city skylines, city skylines to the most you know when you're starting a new city is that you're not very limited uh, with money the game is actually very very generous and you can, you know, focus a lot on, on road development right from the start and not worrying about uh, going bankrupt, which is uh, perfect. So I think I want to go... So I've made 128 uh, blocks over there, so I think I want to make, a, not the squarish grid, Kind of rectangular so i think i'm gonna go by 200 meters connect it here and this is not being very very regular now is it i really don't like how this is uh, turning out um so perhaps we can fix this by uh, deleting this let me just make a new grid Okay, so this is a very interesting or a very odd spacing, so perhaps those uh, 128 meters are not going to be ideal. So let me just do this in a more natural way. Just delete all of this. just gonna leave a block in between and this is 120 meters okay that that works for me and now we are going by 200 meters
still a bit weird on these spots. So perhaps instead of snapping to those weird angles. something like this. So slowly getting used to the road tools of the game, as you can see. As someone who likes to play and build everything perfect, you know, it's a bit frustrating and a bit hard to get used to, but we will get there, don't worry. So for this, I'm not really worried because it's a connection road, so it's whatever. You think my voice is a bit too low? I can raise it a little bit uh, and I can bring the mic closer to me. So I think that's going to be better. Should be a bit better now. The constant demand for low densities is annoying. Yes, it is, but I don't think you need to uh, limit yourself by it. I think you can demand uh, or zone whatever you want and people will eventually move in to the city, regardless of uh, whatever density you place. Thank you, Del. Glad my videos have helped you create better cities. You know, I'm just a regular guy playing playing the game, and I'm just happy that that a lot of people like my content, which is which is great. My playlist, uh, Nebzi, uh, I'm actually having a live stream open right now, which is the Lo-Fi Girl. Uh, if you Google on YouTube Lo-Fi Girl, there is a live stream going on at the moment with uh, relaxing music. That's what I'm playing right now in my stream. Thank you, Samuka. Glad, glad you enjoyed the video. Glad, glad you enjoyed the content. Yes, I agree, Crossrider. The grid tool... I mean, it's not that it's not smart. I think it's just a bit more complex to use than uh, what we had in City Skylines 1. And uh, there's a bit of a learning curve to, to, to use it. And there's a lot of guides here. Uh, there's one, two, three four, five, six guys that you can use um, to help you create the, the type of road that you want, but still a bit complex to learn. Okay, let's move on. So we can expand the layout all the way here. I don't think I'm gonna move uh, a bit too close to the river because uh, I wanna make, you know, uh, a coastal park. So perhaps I can just do another block. So if I go by another 200, um, okay, sure, I can do this. another block here but perhaps this one is not going to be extended and I also want to start working on the industrial district so if I go by here I think I'm gonna get a two block gap perfectly Okay, cool, and I think for this road, I think I'm gonna curve it, so I'm gonna delete a segment. And I'm gonna grab the curved road tool, and I think I need to... How am I gonna do this? Oh, I can't because I need to use the... 
medium sized road. No, I think I can, you know, it's not going to be perfectly centered, but you know, it will get the job done. So I can now get the guideline and I can see that the length of the road is 112 meters. So in order to make a perfect curve, I need to go all the way here and I need to make sure that the number that you see on the bottom and it's also 112 so like this then you can just connect it what's my bench PR? <laughs> I'm way too untrained to have a PR right now A blueprint mode would be amazing, Cross Rider, but I think the method that I use, you know, uh, unlocking everything and starting a, a city with uh, those assets at, at the beginning um, gives you plenty of room to play with and, uh, and lets you study the map in, in a lot of detail. And I think, for me at least, that's uh, that tends to be enough. But I agree that there could be another options or, or more options. So for the industry, um, I'm not sure I'm gonna keep this layout permanently, so I think I'm just gonna do something temporary, but perhaps we can have something like this. This is 200. Okay, and just wrap the layout and to make sure, I don't know, just to end uh, and, and not end in a, in a boring grid, perhaps you can do something uh, a bit more interesting, which is, for example, um, end this at the curved road. So the length of the road is 120 meters. Is it 120? Yes, it is 120. Here we go, and now we can make two straight segments, so for example, um, by 56 meters on every side. And now we can end them at a curve. Okay, that's uh, good enough for me. going to delete this segment for the moment because it's not really necessary Marco my sp my PC specs are pinned on top of the of the chat Okay, so I think this is enough for industrial uh, at an early stage and we have a lot of residential here. Now we can start uh, bending the layout um, towards this curve. And perhaps I think I want to start with the area closest to the river. So this is 200 meters and I think we can have the layout starting here. Let me just make sure that I have the right length. So 200 meters, uh, perhaps we can go a bit to this side. Okay. This is the first block. Okay. 
first let me just adjust grids. Okay. I think I want an additional block here. So do I want an additional block? Yes, I do, but perhaps I do not need to change the avenue. I could just continue it on top of it and make it intersect here. Now I need to adjust this. I'm gonna remove the little zoning space here, but um, I think I'm gonna leave it as it is. Not worry too much about it. Now as for the curve, we can do the same trick that we used before and see that this is 71 meters, so in order to have a pretty regular curve, we can do 72 meters. This is it. Now connect everything with a straight road. Okay, something like this. Let's create another zoning block by going to 100 meters. Yes, I agree. It will <laughs> give you a lot of headache addicts in, in future stages of building the city. The start the layout is always the most fun part, uh, but as you as you develop the city it tends to be a bit more complex and, and complicated, especially when you start to add high density and you have to think about public transport and, and whatever. Oh, and speaking about public transport, I think this is a good idea to start thinking about how the network would be. So we have this train line that comes uh, from this uh, side, so from the eastern part of the city. We don't have to worry about that right now, but it can provide access alongside uh, this area. But we also need a way of transporting people from right to left, so from this area all the way here. And I don't know, I think trams would be uh, the best option for that. So I think we will need to reserve a spot here for a tram line that will come all the way through here and across the river here and provide access uh, alongside uh, this, uh, this area. I think that would be a smart, smart decision. So perhaps I can use a dirt road to do that. And I think I want it to be perpendicular to um, the railroad. So let's got a 90 degree angle. Let me just delete or remove that guide. Okay, so this can be our guideline for the tram track. And I also want this avenue or this four lane road to be perpendicular to this road. So what we can do is delete this curve and rebuild this uh, segment. Like this. So 95, 82, so perhaps we can a little bit different. So 82 meters, one segment. This segment also needs to be 82 meters. Uh, 79, that's, that's okay, that's all right. Okay, cool. Now we need to think how we are going to fix this weird pattern. I said I wouldn't, I wouldn't expand further than this, but I don't think it's going to be any arm if we do so, actually. And it almost connects perfectly, almost. But you know what? 
we can do this. Well, actually, well, how about that? Doesn't look bad at all. So, I think I'm gonna have a coastal area here, you know, a park and something. And I, we also need to think about schools and police and fire. And I think this area could be suitable for that and perhaps even make a natural uh, park over here. Um, I think it would, it would be adequate for, uh, for that, this area. Um, I don't know, should I build another block here? Or am I going to ruin this? Hmm. Not really sure. What if we make a crossing section? So something like, let me disable the snapping to the zone grid, and if I make something like this, how well would this look? Uh, no, I don't really like it. I think I'm going to keep it like this for the time being. And uh, we'll see how it goes. But I think we have a very good foundation to start zoning our city. So we are now going to place the facilities. Um, usually the best way or the most um, a profitable or reliable way for generating power is the wind turbine. In City Skyline, so that was not a very... Uh, I don't know. The the things the thing with wind turbines is that you have to place them constantly. Uh, you're al you're always need to place another one, but because these things can be upgraded with additional uh, generators and uh, additional batteries, you can actually uh, use them and and not have your city inundated with 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 a lot of wind turbines. However, I don't think I have enough wind in this area. To, to place this. So as you can see, uh, if you look at electricity production, it's producing 0 0.89 out of 5 megawatts, which is definitely not optimal. They need to be placed in higher areas, which I believe are the ones with these brownish uh, arrows, which tend to be at areas with, with higher altitude. So we can either import the electricity from our city, from, from um, the external connection that we have here. So we have this international power line that we can use to import a city, to import electricity to the city at an additional cost. Or we can also build the small coal power plant, which I think that's the one we're going to go for. Simply because I don't want to worry about having those high uh, import costs of, of electricity. Which actually it's not, those are not that high because the city is going to be relatively small. But um, oh, camp freeze again. One second. Okay, it should be fixed now. I need to pay attention to that. So the small coal power plant it's downhill of, uh, of where the wind blows, so it, it's not going to affect... The pollution is not going to affect our city, which is great. So I think this is actually a very good place for it. Look at this. I could, I could place it right about over here and it would be um, connected directly to the international uh, power line. And I even think I'm going, I'm going to go a step forward and I'm going to create an access alley to provide access to uh, the small coal power plant so I can do something like this 
and I think I can place it now without destroying the railroads. This is perfect. I think like this is perfectly centered, and we've already reached a milestone. That gave us uh, three tiles to, to expand, but we're not going to do that uh, at the moment. We just need to continue with the connection here, and I think I am going to delete. I think I'm going to curve this. And so from here to here, it's 16 meters. And 16 meters, it's three tiles, so it would be over here and over here as well. Now we can delete these segments and curve these things. Perfect. Now let's just connect it to the international power line. This is enough. And power is pretty much taken care of. And now we need to think about the water. Yes, I agree, Skittles. Uh, the fact that power and water is now automatically connected to the roads, it's, you know, <laughs> amazing. Because in City Skylines 1, you had to think about uh, creating a, a, an entire water system and sewage system, which is completely ridiculous, you know. Nobody is going to look, uh, no, no one is going to take the underground view and appreciate the, the water pipes, at least not everybody. And that's just an obstacle, it was an asshole that you had to think about and not really a feature of the game, it's just something to make your life a bit harder than, than what it was. So definitely not a fan of that, but City Scan Lines 2, that's uh, much better. Now, what a... Oh yes, it's losing money, so I need to pause the game, because the moment you start placing these uh, services, it starts draining on your budget, so we need to pause it for the time being. So thank you, Randy, for the um, uh, the call of attention. So uh, for water, I um, think I'm gonna place my uh, water uh, outlet or my water pumping station up upstream. No, this is very very basic. And for the sewage outlet, I think I'm gonna use this one. Uh, yes, it's the only one that we have available. Uh, water sources, you could use the groundwater pumping station, but I think because we have a water source nearby, uh, I mean, why not use the water pumping station, you know? Um, and this is all temporary anyway. Uh, as we start unlocking more tiles, I will move these services uh, away from uh, the city center. Sewage outlet, that's, this is going to generate a lot of pollution, and of course it will have to be placed um, as much uh, downstream as much as possible so over here and now of course we need to connect everything to uh, the overall uh, system of the city uh, actually this one needs road access so I don't need this pipe I can just provide what I access here and for this I think I'm gonna do something something cool. I think I'm going to create an alley that uh, will connect the residential district, will come all the way here, will come under the, um, the bridge, provide access to the service and then eventually connect to um, the, um, the industrial district. Thank you Merck, congrats on your first stream, thank you, thank you so much. So for this thing, I'm not sure if I want to, because I need to think about pathways as well, the park is going to come through here, but I think we can have a straight road here and then we can start to curve it. Actually, I think I'm going to create a straight road coming all the way from here.
and we can have it uh, right here, for example. Do something like this. And now we can connect it here. So let me just delete this segment to try and create a curve. And now we need to relocate this, of course. Let me see if this is enough. And we actually need to connect it with water. Uh, I think this is this is enough for the time being. And in order to connect it to the residential district, I think I'm gonna extend the service road here. bit curve here, create a straight road and then we can connect it to this point. Okay, I think that's a good starting point. Good morning Wago. Yes, Dandy, the stream will be available on the channel, so you don't have to worry about that. The stream will be available as well as the, the live chat replay. They will all be available on the channel for, for future viewing. Oh, let's just connect this here. And I think this, this one does not require electricity, which is uh, interesting. But with this, I think we now have everything connected. Yes, I think we have everything connected, so this that's that's perfect. So now we can start zoning. So and we already have medium density row housing, uh, but I think I'm gonna start with low density housing. Uh, and by the way, I think the layout looks very very cool from the starting point. I think this is a good start of the city. I'm satisfied with that. But uh, yeah, let's go on and start and start zoning. So let's see, I think I'm not I'm not going to zone anything on this avenue. I think I wanna have it clear uh, of of traffic of 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 um, of buildings. I don't want any buildings facing this this avenue. So one of the things that I could do is just zone here and keep on deleting the buildings that develop here until they all face uh, this road. So for example, if I build a house here and I uh, unpause the simulation, you know, you see this gap, it's, it, it represents the way where the building is facing. So both of these buildings, because they have uh, the gap facing this road, it means that they're both facing this road. So that would be perfect, but for example, you could have a building uh, facing the other road, the avenue. Let's see if I can spawn one right now. There we go. This one spawned uh, two buildings and both of them are facing the avenue, which is precisely what I don't want. So one of the ways that you can use to control where buildings are facing is essentially by doing the strict zoning and demolishing until you have what you want. But I think I'm going to do something different. I'm not going to use this trick. What I'm going to do is leave this gap empty and I'm not going to zone anything there. So we can place uh, a row of trees right alongside the, the road. I think that is going to look cool. And I've just messed it up a little bit because I want some zoning here. Let's just uh, delete this, okay? And we can expand the zoning all the way here as well. As well as to these blocks. And I think I'm gonna pause the simulation because I don't want stuff to start building at this point while I'm zoning.
camera froze again. Um, I don't know what why this is happening. Uh, probably because uh, my computer is taking a lot of resources to stream and play the game at the same time. Uh, that could be uh, the reason. But I'll just keep uh, doing this manually. Two by five buildings, yes, I think that could be a, a way, but I, I don't think I want to micromanage uh, the size of my homes, at least not at this stage. Uh, I think I'm going to just let stuff zone and develop naturally. I'm just, before unpausing the simulation, I think I want to reserve some spots for commercial. So, this is a bit different from City Skylines 1 because I believe in City Skylines 1 you could have or you needed to have a large amount of commercial to satisfy demand but in this game I think you don't need to have a lot of commercial because one of the issues that I have on my first city is that you place a lot of commercial because I was using the, the logic that I used in City Skylines 1 and all of the shops were complaining about the lack of, of customers so uh, there's simply not enough customers to to uh, stimulate the business of, of all the commercial zones that you have in the city. So the, the game actually requires much less commercial zones. So just some small sprinkles of shops here and there are going, are going to be enough. And I think... Actually, I want this to be zoned as well. I don't know why I didn't zone this. So we can zone this and reset the building or the AI for these buildings. And for the commercial, I actually zoned this area, but I don't want it. I think I'm gonna place a small commercial zone right about here. Or how about here? Okay, let's see how this works. So just a tiny bit of commercial here. And I can also start thinking about industry. Industry, because this is temporary, I'm not going to worry about uh, this a lot. S but I do want to keep this road free of any uh, zoning, I think. so. Um, I don't know, perhaps I could do something like this as a starting layout and have the first factories move in to the city. Uh, Rave site, that's probably true. I've never managed to get rid of the not enough uh, customers uh, pop-ups in the city but I've also heard of people saying that they could uh, that they managed to remove the those pop-ups simply by designing commercial so I mean I don't know but the game is also suffering a lot of updates at the moment uh, there's constantly Colossal Order is constantly releasing stuff every single week, which is great. It shows that they care about it. Um, so that that's something that could have been updated in the time being. Six times six is a waste of space. You know what? You could. You are probably right. These houses are probably way too, uh, way too big for the amount of residents that they have. For example, this one is occupying a lot of space uh, with simply one resident. So that you probably have a point there. If I design this, you know, in, if I take some zoning space and I have them occupy, for example, a 
a uh, five wide or a five long zoning space instead of six. I wonder uh, how the buildings will look like. Let me check this out. So these here are five long blocks, as you can count them, one, two, three, four, five. And the, the ones I originally built are uh, six uh, long. Rodrigo, thank you so much for um, the super thanks. CS1 Snow City series is the best in YouTube. I'm assuming you're referring to my first series of Design Manage. Yes, it was actually the only city that I've managed to, to finish for my YouTube series. Uh, and it's the one that, that, you know, launched my channel pretty much. So, yeah, a lot of people remember that series. And so thank you so much for the, for the super chat. How's the performance? I don't know, you tell me. Uh, how's the, the stream quality, guys? Do you notice any lag besides the camera freezing? Is resolution okay? I know that, for example, if I'm still on the, the test live streams that I've done, uh, for example, if I have uh, the screen pause right here, you should see everything crystal clear. But if I start zooming out and in and, and changing the camera uh, very, very rapidly, uh, you start to have a blur on the screen and everything starts to, to get blurry. Yes, SR, they updated the game since launch uh, quite a lot, actually. I think they've launched two updates since, since the launch of the game. Um, Yes, and coming back to this uh, housing, I agree with you guys, I think these houses look a lot better um, than these ones, because they're more consistent, you know. And am I using the European uh, style houses? Yes, I am. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, perhaps when I expand the city further, I could use uh, these types of buildings, but because my grid is already uh, built for six long buildings, I think I'm gonna keep the original layout and have these uh, bad boys occupy the full zoning space. But for future layouts, as we expand the city, perhaps we can close the gap a little bit. And this area will eventually be converted to high density anyway. Or medium density so that will be it and I think I have to demolish them to stimulate new growth okay so what do we have here if we take a look at the budget I still cannot uh, start working on taxation and services, but that's not really relevant at the moment. We're losing a lot of money. Um, so perhaps we need to expand the city way further by placing some more houses. So that's what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to expand to this block. And we have already unlocked um, the medical clinic and also trash facilities which is something that we should be mindful about and start uh, worrying about so i think i'm gonna start with the medical clinic i think i'm gonna provide access uh, or i think i'm gonna place it so to say right on this road on this empty gap that we have on this empty uh, square Perhaps that would be a good place for it. Or maybe even here. Um, let's see. Because I also need to place the elementary school and the elementary school takes a lot of space. We And it's going to be placed here or here. So I think this is a more central area for the elementary school, so I think I'm going to place 
the medical clinic over here. And I think I want to rotate it a bit and face this road instead. Okay. Where are you from? I am from Portugal, Riza. How does the residential houses level up? I pretty much the same way as they did on City Skylines when you just, you know, provide them with services and public transport and, and happiness and leisure and they will eventually uh, level up. Not sure if there's anything more complex uh, in the development system, but that's pretty much it. And I want to delete this in order to make sure that everything is occupied. These houses are way too small. And okay, perfect. Actually, you know what? It created kind of a hill. We actually need to pay attention to this because this terrain is a bit unleveled. Now, this uh, hill, you know, this uh, uneven terrain is not really dramatic at this point, um, but in some situations it could be. So, but for the time being, it, it's working out perfectly. This, this doesn't shock me at all and it looks uh, realistic. I could see a real city being, being like this. Fixing the cam at the moment. Okay. Okay, I also need to place the cemetery and also the um, trash management system. So that's something we can do right now. And the cemetery is actually quite quite big. So I think I could it could be placed in this area at the bottom so maybe here right next to the you know medical clinic or it could even be outside of the um, of the city layout maybe even here for example alongside the train track that could be a good option Let me see, how can I do this in a way that's uh, a bit interesting? Let me try something like this. So if I go 200 blocks over here, or 200 meters, sorry, not blocks. Actually, it's, this is not what I wanted to do. Actually, it is, it, it works fine, so let me. Go 200 blocks over here, then we can make a curve. So 160 meters on the first curve, this one also has to be 160 meters. 165, that's that's cool, that's fine. So I think I can place my cemetery right here okay something like this i think that that looks fine what i do not want however do i want it to be connected to the main road like this or should i build an alley to, to provide access to it perhaps i want to do that perhaps i want to I'm gonna create a small alley. So I think I'm gonna demolish it and get a refund. 
and now we can create the alley. Okay, now we can start and make the connections. So something like this. And I don't think I'm gonna curve these ones. I think I'm gonna keep them as they are. I think I do need to raise the terrain, however. Uh, I don't like how this has turned out. So, I don't know, let me pause the simulation and think about how I want to do this, because I could uh, bring the terrain all the way over here and, and flatten it, but I don't think that would look very realistic. So one of the things that I could do, however, is bring the uh, cemetery to a lower, to a, to a lower um, height level by simply demolishing this and adjusting the height level of, of this of this area. So that's something that we could do, but because this is way too close to the road, I think we'd have to... Um, I don't know, I think we'd have to rebuild this one. So let me try and do something. Let me grab my terrain level tool and perhaps we can level the terrain here, just a little bit. Now we can rebuild the connection. So 200 meters, that would be here. It would be something like this, okay. Now we can make a slope, connecting this, and now we can bring this road all the way down. So 160 meters, let's just do pretty much the same thing. And connect it here. Okay, and this uh, road can go under uh, the tram track. We can even create a tunnel here. So for example, I could do something like this. We could have the tram track continue uh, at this level and cross the, the river. And we can have the cemetery, the cemetery access road go into a tunnel. If I can do this, of course. So it needs a little bit more work. We can... Um, perhaps we can build the cemetery first and then think about that. So let's just make a road here just as we had it before and we can rebuild the cemetery and with this we unlock a new milestone and the height level for the cemetery is now much much better than before and we can rebuild the connection so let me now try and make the tunnel Not really sure if I like that. Let me try this again. Perhaps if I make the terrain a bit more even. It continues to do this weird this weird thing. Perhaps we can, because we don't have anything over here and there's no point in expanding 
uh, to this side. Perhaps I can leave this to a later stage and just focus on on creating the connection and get a city going so we don't waste a lot of time with this. So just make sure we have the connection here. Okay, delete these dead ends and connect it back here. Okay, perfect, and now we can smooth the terrain. On both areas, to try to make a smooth transition, or as smooth as possible. Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's perfect. I agree, Lomi. The cemetery of a parking lot is, is just hilarious. Yes, the milestones will give you a lot of money, so you pretty much won't, will never have to worry about money if you develop your city fast enough. You know, I'm losing 2,000 per hour and I'm already at 1.3 million because I've, I've reached two different milestones, so, I mean... Rodrigo, I have already disabled Apple Field and Motion Blur, all of those things are uh, disabled already. Uh, the motion blur that I was referring to, um, I'm not sure if you're speaking to me or, or with somebody else in the chat, but the, the performance issues that I've been experiencing is on the stream itself and not on the, game, the gameplay that I'm seeing on my screen, because for me, the gameplay is running very, very smoothly. Uh, I think you guys are the ones who could potentially have, have some issues. The service buildings are huge. I don't think they are huge. One of the problems that uh, City Skylines 1 had was a lack of scale. Um, I think I don't think it's realistic for a 4x4 factory or a factory with 20 or 30 employees have exactly the same size as one low residential uh, house. That's just ridiculous. And the fact that you now have decently scaled buildings or at least as closer to uh, what you have in real life, I think it makes it uh, much more realistic and, and, and much more enjoyable. You know, it's, it doesn't make sense that you can have factories occupy the same space yeah, as, a, as a residential building, you know. I've seen factories, you know, single factories that occupy an entire, the size of an entire small village, for example. You know? And even in City Skyline 2, for example, cities are, uh, factories are not this big, you know. You'd, it's very, very unrealistic for you to find in your town or in your city or even in your country a factory that is uh, this small, you know, this is the size of a small warehouse. You know, a factory like this, with this uh, style and with these chimneys, would probably occupy, you know, this entire square, you know, that I'm highlighting with my mouse. So let's just add some more uh, commercial now. We could place it right about here. Small commercial sprawl. And I also think we need to disable this, okay. So before, I also need to worry about a uh, trash system and I've also unlocked education, so that's something that we can do. Uh, but before we do that, I think I want to modify this avenue a bit more. And for this, I need to unlock road services because I want to unlock um, roadside decorations. 
and you do this by plopping uh, a grass tile on either side of the road. This one doesn't allow to put it in the middle, but we can change that by upgrading to this type of road instead. So let's upgrade this entire road. To a road with a gap in the middle. It's a divided road apparently. And now we can upgrade everything to this small grass patch and you can do the same and put some trees in the middle. There we go, a very nice avenue with uh, trees in the middle. And now we can decorate this further by placing some trees. Now, uh, this one, I need to select a tree for this. So the dotted line, you see the circle around the tree, it represents the, the size that the tree will eventually grow. That's something different in this game. Uh, trees uh, are not planted automatically uh, in their full might, <laughs> in their full size. So they actually planted as small saplings or medium sized trees and they eventually grow with time which is a process that takes a long time. And this dotted line uh, around the tree represents the maximum area that this tree will occupy when it's uh, fully grown. So I think uh, I need to place some um, smaller trees. So for example, this spruce, perhaps we can work with that. So I'm gonna start putting spruces in the margins of the road or on the sides of the road and I'm gonna space them at the exact same spacing that we have these trees here on the on the lane so you can use those as a reference at least that's that's what I'm that I will be doing How's the stream quality, by the way, guys? Um, is it blurry for you guys? Is it... I know it's not crystal clear. Uh, mainly because of the limitations of the, the game, which is poorly optimized. But if you notice that the screen is way too blurry, I can perhaps lower uh, or uh, increase the latency but that will mean that you will not be able to see uh, the content in real time as I'm recording it and I will interact with you guys in a much slower pace that I'm doing right now. Quality is excellent, okay, perfect. That's very, very good to hear. Glad to see that this uh, streaming test is working out as intended. So I don't think I'm going to expand to this side. I think I'm going to focus on this entrance area for the time being. Now we just need to do the same on the other side. This one will be planted on a hill, but I think that's fine. If I'm going to micromanage every single, every single you know, aspect of uh, game decoration, I think I'll go crazy. Some of the things we'll just have to accept that are not going to be perfect. But this is good enough for me, I think. Dashboard Fairy, how are you? Very nice to see you, glad, glad to see that you joined the stream. YouTube did not notify you? I mean, I don't know. I have scheduled the stream yesterday, 
so with 24 hours in advance, so it was up on my channel. I've also wrote a community post, but I don't know why YouTube did not notify um, a lot of people, uh, especially when I've done all of those things. So, but glad to see that you've made it to the stream and I, I'm glad to see you. Okay, so this entrance looks uh, perfect. Uh, I mean, not perfect, but w when these trees grow, I think it will look a lot more grand and magnificent. It's the perfect entrance to the city, I think. Okay, so now that we have this... What else do we need? We need trash. So that's something that we can start focusing on. So perhaps I think I'm gonna buy an additional tile to start working on, on trash. So let me see, perhaps we can buy this tile. And is that enough for me to expand this access road? Just rightly so, okay, that's that's great. So I think I could have uh, a trash management facility here alongside the, the train track and eventually I will move it to the southern part of, of the map to keep it away from from the city. Let me see, how big of a room do I need? So not that big. So perhaps I could even extend this road and not this one instead. I think I will do that. I think I will bring this road all the way here. Okay, and that will serve as an access point to um, the trash facilities. Whereas the wind blowing, the wind blowing is the wind is blowing towards this side. So, as you can see, it will pollution will be kept away from the uh, residential area. So, I will have uh, nothing to worry about. So I think temporarily you could use this or perhaps, you know what, I think I'm gonna buy another tile. So that I don't have to worry about relocating this uh, soon. I'll extend it here. Just delete this. I don't like when the roads have a gap um, in their zoning spaces, even though I'm not going to zone anything here. Okay, so actually, I think let's try and do something interesting. We have uh, the terrain sloping here, so these contour lines can sh shows you the, um, the changes in elevation in the terrain. So one of the things that could be interesting doing, and that I've actually done in my first city, that you can see in, in the latest video that, I've, that I have released on, on YouTube, is that I have a lot of roads, you know, contouring the, um, the elevation changes or the, the reference lines that you have. And I was thinking about doing the same here for the access road leading to the trash management system, but I don't think... Um, are they are relevant. I don't really like the curves that these are doing and I'm not really imagining uh, a road or an access road that could bring traffic here. Or actually, that's a lie actually, I think, I think I'm seeing something here. I think I could bring a road here and then have it climb through this uh, 
zone through this area that's being elevated here so something like this and then connect to uh, here so let's check it out let's check it out so something like this and something like this and there you have it okay that's not bad not bad at all and I think for the time being I'm going to convert this road into an alley because um, the only thing I'm going to be placing here is the um, landfill and yeah I think I like the curve that this road is taking No, Rodrigo, City Scalansu does not have bicycle lanes uh, yet, unfortunately. There's a lot of things missing in this game that City Skylines 1 had, that this one does not have yet, because it's a fairly new game. How do I find a new road tool? I think it's great, it's uh, a bit complex, uh, a bit complex to use, but overall, uh, I think when you get the hang of it, it has a lot of functionalities and I think it makes uh, road building and layout building much more uh, easy in the long term than in, in the previous game. So for the landfill, I'm gonna place it right here. Actually, let's see. I think I'm gonna build another alley because eventually I think I'm gonna convert this road into a um, a fully sized road so it's not going to be an alley so I think I'm gonna have an alley here providing access to the landfill now I can place it here okay so now we can just connect it here make a few connections and here I am connecting all of these uh, different entrance spots. Okay, so we have this uh, road here, this road here, and this uh, loopy entrance. You know, this uh, paved entrance. So I'm connecting all of these with hallways. Though it's not, it's not really necessary. But for the time being, I think it looks, it looks great. So and now we can start setting the area for the landfill I think I want to I want it to snap to this road but for this I need to uh, extend the road so let's do that okay Cool, 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 cool. And I can go all the way to its maximum uh, limit. I would just have to bring it all the way here and create a perfect 90 degree angle. And I think this is enough for the, for the time being and eventually I can expand it to the left side. But for the time being, I think this is more than enough to serve uh, the entire city. You can also upgrade it with this building which uh, allows the processing of garbage at a higher speed. I actually thought this was more uh, trucks, but no, it, this is the one. This is, these are the more trucks, the garbage truck people. This one is um, for trash to be processed at a higher speed, which is something that I don't think it's necessary at this stage, so I'm not going to do anything. It's going to keep it as is. Yeah, I agree. Probably better to keep it small for the time being. Okay. So these guys are lacking workers. 
think this is a nice cue for us to start expanding our residential area. So all of this can be residential. For shops, uh, I think I'm gonna keep them as they are. I think these four are enough to serve the city for the time being. But another thing that we can start doing... Oh, and here we have it. We have unlocked the first signature building. And we need to think of a nice location for it. But we'll get there. For the time being, I think I wanna start and build our first uh, elementary school so that we can start working on that education. And um, I don't know, should I... I was thinking about placing it here and it could be a nice location for it. But at the same time, I could place a high school here because it fits very, very nicely. Or even I could, I could place the high school here instead at a later stage when you need it. At the moment it's not really relevant because we only have 14 eligible students and we should start focusing on the basic level of education. So I think I'm gonna go with the basic elementary school, I'm gonna place it here. I'm not sure if I want to have it right next to um, the avenue. I know that there's one building that occupies a lot of space. This is the one. I think I'm gonna place it and attach it to this road instead. Okay, I think that's a cool place for it. And I think that's all we need for the time being. I'm actually going to expand my zoning spaces and uh, zone on this area as well. Okay, so build a few more houses there. And just let's just uh, put this on tree speed so that the city starts developing uh, a bit faster. Yes, there's a playground that comes with the school that has an area of, of uh, effect buff. Uh, and yes, we will be placing these. And I think these are unlimited. You can place as, as much of these as you want, which is the, um, the playground. And they basically um, have a 10% increase uh, within the, the nearby 30 meters. They have an upkeep of 5,000 per month, so I think I'm gonna keep them as they are. For the time being, because we are losing a lot of money, even though it's not really an issue at this point. Game isn't ready to be played. Uh, I mean, it has its issues, of course. If you compare the base version of City Skylines 2 with what was the base version of City Skylines 1, you know, when it first launched, this is a complete game changer. You know, it's a completely different game. For me, in my opinion, City Skylines 1 without mods, without DLCs, just pure vanilla City Skylines, is completely unplayable. And, or the very least, is completely limited and you cannot do a lot of it with it and um city skyline city skylines 2 that's that's not the case it says it has its limitations uh, when it comes to performance the economy also has uh, its problems it's completely broken at the moment but by what i've heard um, according to what i've read on the forums and uh, written by the developers themselves um, the economy or the bugs caused by the economy um, happen because uh, of the existing bugs that the game has that have nothing to do with the economy and uh, it's not a game mechanic, it's, it's not an intention to have the game running the way it is right now so hopefully it will be fixed at a later stage when it comes to optimization I mean I don't know <laughs> 
I haven't built a super big city yet. I'm a bit concerned that um, my computer and the computer of pretty much almost everyone cannot run a fully sized city. It's a bit underwhelming, the, the lack of optimi optimization in the game, yes. But I don't know. I'm not sure if there's really room for improvement because I don't know anything about uh, game development or coding. So I'm not really sure if these issues are integrated in the core uh, coding structure of the game and if there's anything the developers can do to, to fix the issues. I know that they've been doing uh, some updates and releasing some new stuff that improves the performance significantly. Will it be ever be running smoothly? I mean, I don't know. That's that's hard. That's hard to. That's hard for me to say. Yes, I am. I am Portuguese, Afonso. So this is what I was talking about. We have very little commercial in this uh, city, and we already have uh, some people complaining. Um, that they have not enough customers, you know, when they have 300 people living in the city. <laughs> so I think we can not zone any more commercial for the time being and just keep focusing on, on residential, which is something that we can do right now. So we have this entire spot that we can zone with residential, so let's do that. And we can have our city developing on this area as well. And now that we've expanded the city here, we can also start placing the spruces and continuing the, the boulevard that we have created in the beginning. I have this weird tree here that should not be. I'm just gonna put them on this side for the time being because we don't have anything built on the other side of the road. And I'm putting them as close to the road as possible. And I'm spacing them with the same space of the trees in the main avenue. Okay, I think that's cool. And we also have some demand for medium density, so perhaps we can start uh, and place a few uh, more homes, more compact housing in the city. So we need to prepare for that. City Skylines does not have a prop line tool, not that I know of, no. At least not for the time being. Which is crazy because it could uh, it could have one here, you know. This slot <laughs> could potentially have a you know um, a tool for, for the for a prop line to make to make perfectly you know lined assets like rocks and, and trees. Yes, and, and I get what you're saying. I also <laughs> had a few issues in my starter city where uh, public transport was not working as intended. So I would have trams, for example, get to the tram stop and pick up the passengers. And then they stay there for like five seconds. They don't move. They are pretty much uh, causing traffic jams uh, on the road itself and on all the other trams that are waiting uh, behind to to stop at that particular station and as soon as that tram starts uh, going forward it simply disappears you know it despawns so and I've never managed to find out what was the reason for that
But again, you know, um, I'm hopeful about the game. I'm hopeful that they will eventually fix all the issues that we're having right now. So, I know, I think keeping positive is, is the best attitude. Okay, let's just uh, put this on tree speed, let the city develop a bit further. I'm also going to build it this building so that larger buildings are created instead. And these ones as well. Why is it not working? There we go. Come on, give me that six long. Is it because of this line? That would be ridiculous, no? Oh, it is. How interesting. Okay, so we're still losing a lot of money, but uh, the city is growing nicely. Let's check our unemployment. So we have two open positions, so there's not really a point in creating more industry at the moment. Or more shops. And the unemployment rate is at 11%, uh, which is uh, not, not cool at all. And the majority of people are educated only. So no well-educated or highly educated. Which is fine. I think uh, with this we can now start creating our custom park. And for this I think I'll have a pathway that will cross this uh, section of the city. Go to this uh, area. And then eventually go alongside the coastline of, of the river. I think that would that would be cool. So let me see. I think I'm gonna disable all the guidelines. I'm gonna make a straight pathway here. something like this going in between the trees now wrapping around here at about here. Now, of course, the pathway now is blocked by the water pumping station, but eventually I will replace this and move it to uh, some, somewhere else and we can continue the, the pathway through here. Actually, let me see something. There's a small gap here. Can I? No, of course not. I was thinking you could uh, build a pathway, you know, underneath this, this thing, but the game isn't built like that yet. So, yeah. Okay. So now let's just uh, make a few connections. So I want a pathway uh, coming through here and connecting to this avenue. But I also need to be mindful that we are going to place these uh, playgrounds and also this building. So... I need to leave enough space for that. So this building will go all the way here. So the perfect place for a pathway will be on this third square. 
so on this third tile over here okay so now if I I can freely upgrade uh, the elementary school with the uh, what's the name of this the children's clinic without worrying about having to destroy the pathway and I really like how it goes in between the trees but perhaps this is way too much vegetation perhaps we can release some trees and clear a pathway okay look at that Okay, so this is the first part of the pathway. And I like how it automatically creates uh, uh, crosswalks. And of course, I need to fix my camera. Just give me a second. Okay. So now I need to connect this pathway all the way to this pathway uh, at the bottom. And all of this is going to be a natural. Uh, park So let me see what would be the best way to do that So perhaps something like this Create a pathway here, but it kind of creates a crosswalk uh, very close to this one, so perhaps I don't know if I can delete the crosswalk here. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So now we have two crosswalks here and another one over here. Okay. Trim this a little bit. So, like this. And now connect everything. Okay, cool. Now we can even create an additional connection here. Like this. I have been doing very, very well, Adrian. Thank you for asking. Thank you, KM. Thank you for the support. It's nice to be playing with you guys. So thank you so much for, for you being here. Is walkability important in CS2? I mean... Yes, it is. Citizens love to walk. First and foremost, just like on the previous games. Uh, I think it's something that hasn't really changed. But I don't have enough experience with the game to tell you how much of a deal uh, that is in a completely developed city. So let's just continue this. Ah, I messed up. Okay, so we can connect it here. Come on. Okay, I'm froze again. Uh, yes, I'm guys. I'm paying attention to to it, so you don't need to constantly being. 
you don't need to constantly remind me of that uh, because I'm paying attention to it but I know if I spend like you know three or four minutes without fixing the cam just please let me know but overall I'm paying attention to it and with this we reach the third milestone so another 800,000 in the bank it's perfect now we can keep adding connections to this um, park I think I'm gonna add another one right here and this one I think I'm gonna end at an interesting shape so perhaps I can do something like this a curved road here and then another curved road here and if I delete the nearby trees you can see how it looks and I think that's that's great actually and I also think I'm gonna do the same over here so one here and another one there Will you look at that? Okay, and with this... Um, we still have this guy complaining about uh, the lack of customers. Now I'm tempted to demolish this building and see if the new one uh, keeps complaining. But I wanna, I wanna see if they keep, um, I wanna see if this corrects itself over time. In my experience, it does not. But let's just wait and see. So uh, we also unlocked several other services, so namely the uh, firehouse and also the police. So that's something that we need to place. Uh, ASAP. We can also start decreasing budgets for stuff, so perhaps that's something that we can do. Electricity, not really sure if we need to have this much. Water, because we are not uh, exporting any water, perhaps we can decrease the budget for water. So, consumption 20,000 and I'm outputting like six times more so let me see if I can bring the budget all the way 60% and this will have a big effect like 20,000 health I don't really like to mess with the budget of education also health because people will start complaining about the lack of, of um, the lack of services but for the time being because the city is such in, a, in an early stage I think I'm gonna do that but I gotta remember myself to bring them back up so garbage I think I'm gonna decrease it as well to 60% I'm not using none of those things Fire, I'm gonna decrease it to 70, same thing as police, this is going to be relevant when you start developing there, and we place these services, let's just put the game on 3 speed, see if this uh, budget panel adjusts. Uvilas isn't more uh, industry needed, probably, um, but the thing is, if I take a look at the workplace, it says that there's no open positions, so if there's anything broken, then what's broken? Is it the, uh, the demand, you know, the RCI demand? Is it the uh, workplace availability, you know, UI? What is it, you know? Something is broken because you are needing industrial but there's only only two open positions and you only have six or seven shops in the city so 
why do you need more industry you know what city am i building i am building an european styled uh, city my friend So I think this is enough for the park and I also think, let me see, we can also start placing the firehouse and the police probably. I wonder what people are saying about the city. Unreli unreliable healthcare coverage, so yeah, I think they are complaining because um, I've lowered the budget for uh, medical but minus two is not that that of a worry what's a worry however is this uh, high crime status so uh, it's lowering the, the happiness meter by 15 points so I think that's a good cue that we need to place uh, or a good indication that we need to place our first police station so that's what I'm going to do right now. And for the police station, uh, I could, I want to place it right next to the firehouse, or I can also place it right next to the medical clinic. But this one will need some upgrades, so I need to be mindful of that. Um, where would be a good place for these uh, services? Perhaps over here? Perhaps I can put my police station here. And this will uh, reduce the crime in the city. So now we can start checking the cars, getting out of the station and start patrolling. And they're only using 4 out of 6 vehicles so we could even lower the budget even more. But I think I'm going to keep it as it is right now. Thank you so much Moonman for the super thanks, highly appreciate it, thank you for supporting the stream and supporting the channel, highly appreciate it, thank you, thank you so much. And now it's slowly, slowly decreasing, so it's now at minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, that's, that's great. And whenever people start complaining about fire as well, we can um, work on that as well. But I'm a bit concerned about the unreliable healthcare coverage, so I think I'm going to raise the budget of healthcare a little bit, so to 80%. Okay, and I think I'm also going to expand the housing here. Uh, actually, I don't know. Do I want to place some houses here, or when I, do I want to reserve this for some commercial, uh, for some com commercial, for some shopping right next to the Waterway Park? I think I wanna, I wanna do that. I'm gonna keep this area clear. And I think this is a good time for us to expand the layout of the city so we have a lot of area here that we can use for building so that's something we can start working on at the moment and for this I need to think what I want to do 
Should I start buying additional tiles? Probably. Or actually, another thing that we can do is start replacing some of the houses that we have for medium density row housing. And I think these are the ones that are a bit weird because they occupy only uh, double uh, block zoning spaces. Or single block zoning spaces, yeah, there we go. They only occupy one block zoning space, which is, which is a bit weird. Let me just see how they look. Well, I mean, I know how they look, but uh, I need a refresher before placing them so I can better plan ahead. So these houses over here, I agree with you guys, they are a bit of a waste of space because they only hold one resident. So we need to start populating the city a bit more. And these ones have six residents, which is great. And we also have the EU medium density housing. And these are apartments. These are a bit bigger. I place these things temporarily here, they're not going to be zoned right next to this avenue, I just want to see how they look. And the apartments look like this and they hold 27 residents, which is a lot of residents. So perhaps we can start replacing some of these houses with some of these buildings. But for that I think I'm a bit concerned that my unemployment rate is at 15, in this case 20%. There's, and there's no open positions at the moment, so I think I'm going to zone more industrial, regardless of what the workplace availability is saying. It's definitely broken. <laughs> I think that's, that confirms it. So I'm going to place some industry here and let those factories develop. And as for commercial, I'm gonna delete this shop because I can already see that the not enough customers is not uh, going to be fixed by itself. So I'm gonna do that. And I think I'm gonna add another small shop or another row of shopping right here. Okay. Now, as for the zoning, I'm thinking about whether I should place some uh, medium density apartments over here or not. I don't think we're at that stage yet. Or perhaps we can start um, rezoning some, some stuff, you know, slowly and slowly, slowly but surely. Because, you know, when I start replacing uh, these small houses with apartments now i'm basically gonna go from one resident to 42 residents which is a lot but i think i'm gonna start replacing um, some of the 
the zones are ready. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's not worry too much about it. So let's zone this area here. And let's also zone our first apartment buildings. So perhaps one here, another one here. Okay. Now let's just uh, get rid of this. I didn't this zone. There we go. We've also never gotten to place the pop musician mansion. I think I want to place it right next to the river because that's the place where I think someone like that would live in a very uh, rich uh, home with a view to this island that will have a castle over here. And for that, I think I will need to bring a road that will provide access to this mansion. Let me just see what would be the best way to do that. Mm, so like this. Okay. And now we can start building the access point to this very nice uh, mansion. Can I end it at the roundabout? Now that I'm thinking. Overlapping items, so that's not good at all. Let me just trim this. Ah, it doesn't work. What if... bit stupid because this roundabout is not providing access to anything, you know, so... I'm just gonna build a road here. And I will make the access road to come from this um, from this road I think we can curve it just to be a bit prettier okay cool Deactivate all the snapping roads and try to mind the distance between the roundabout and the house. Uh, okay, let's try.
Uh, no, I don't think so. Let's just squeeze a bit up against the dimension. But no, I don't think it works because I don't think. I don't think you can zone on roundabouts now that I'm thinking about it. So if I make a road here and I make a roundabout, yeah, you cannot zone on roundabouts, so the roundabouts don't provide access to, to buildings. I think that's the reason. So yeah. Well, it was worth a try. Thank you for the suggestion, but uh, it doesn't work. I was checking the latest, not the latest, but one of the most recent City Planner Plays videos and he did something cool with his signature building, which is create a, an outline, so a, a parcel made with, with trees. And I think we can do the same thing here, you know, to indicate that this is private property. So instead of limiting everything to just this square uh, shape we can extend it and have its own terrain next to it you know so this is like the his house property and then he has a, a private forest or, or a private park so to say I just need to see what's the best type of tree to do that Perhaps a chestnut. Yeah, because it's the same type of tree that's on the building, so I think it would look great. How is the unemployment after adding more industry? So unemployment decreased to 2%, which is, well, it's ideal. And now we have 42 open positions. But overall, I think it worked great and it solved the issue. So let me just uh, get this out of the way and start making the parcel. And I think I want to make the private terrain of this guy to wind right against the park. No, and I can even have these chestnuts going alongside the pathway. Just a quick posture check. supposedly when these trees grow they will be right one against the other and it will make the whole thing look like a wall of trees which is what we want for some privacy Now, how big of a land do I want to give this guy? That is the real question. Do I want to reserve all of this area for him? No, I don't think so. 
I think I want to make it end at about here. Mm, yeah, I think we can do that. So for this, I'm going to make an auxiliary road. Okay. And now we can start and place some trees right alongside it. Something like this. And another one here. So that's one corner of the parcel. Let's do another one. And I think... I think I'm gonna actually gonna extend this one all the way here. And then connect it to a pathway here. So, okay, so all of this area can belong to him. Really excited to see how this is going to turn out when the trees grow. You know? Okay, so final, final line. And I cannot place another one. Okay, that's fine. Alright. So, what do you guys think about it? I think it looks pretty, pretty neat. I think it looks pretty good. Neurosis, thank you so much for the super chat. I will definitely want to live stream more. Um, I think this was a test live stream um, to see how was the performance of the stream. I don't see anybody complaining and I don't see any issues, any technical issues that I'm having, namely besides the the, cram, the cam freezing from time to time, but that's, that's a minor issue. So I think we're up to make more live streams in the future, um, according to my availability, of course. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Thank you so much for the support and for the, the super chat. Highly appreciate it, mate. Alright, so guys, let me just use the toilet a little bit and um, make some more tea. And I will be back in a couple of minutes, okay? And I'm just gonna leave you with this cool shot of the city. Alright, be right back.
All right, I'm back. Let me just uh, take a look at the chat. Make sure I didn't miss any any super chats or, or comments. Is it possible to donate on YouTube live stream? Um, you can send a super thanks if you want to, though it's not really necessary. Uh, you don't need to support me financially, but if you want to do that, that's highly appreciated. Shafi, by any chance are you an urban planner? No, I am not. I'm just a regular guy who likes to play city builders. They say mods will be coming in one of the developer streams. Uh, yes, they are. And what I've heard is that the modding system is not going to be based on Steam, like on um, City Skylines 1. It's going to be an external platform managed by Lostal Order, which is going to be great because uh, it will give the console players a chance to uh, play the game with mods as well. So I think that's a very, very good decision. We'll just see how good it works. Um, because we know that with Steam, it works pretty much seamless. You just create an asset and you upload it to the Steam Workshop and everybody can, can use it. With their platform, it's going to be a bit more limited. I don't know. We'll see how it works. What map is this? This is the mountain village map. Mouse to Budapest. It is not good without or surrendered. I did not surrender, at least not yet. <laughs> Thank you, support mage. Thank you so much. No, the young, the city, the stream is not over yet. I just took a small break. The pre-order bonus, um, the pre-order gives you two maps, the San Francisco and the Tampere maps, so if you want additional maps to build on, those are uh, great additions. Another thing that you can get is uh, new road tools, like these bridges, for example, uh, which I haven't uh, unlocked yet, because... Um, you know, I haven't unlocked them yet, but I think these ones, the Golden Great Bridge and also uh, some of these are uh, DLC or pre-order bonus roads. And also some other features that I don't really recall because, to be quite frank with you, I didn't read the, um, you know, the the patch notes or the, or the notes for each individual um, DLC or pre-order bonus. But, I mean, I, I, suggest, I recommend you go to Steam and, and take a look at it. At the assets because uh, I mean that's pretty much it. It's aesthetics that the game that 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 the pre-order offers to the game. There's no uh, life-changing gameplay uh, mechanics added to the game like you had in City Skylines One. Whenever you purchase a new DLC like Park Life or Industries, where you would unlock a series of features that would completely change the gameplay and the experience. That's not the case with the pre-order bonus for City Skylines Two. CS2 maps uh, compared to CS1, I mean, they're a bit of an improvement, I mean, look at this, this is beautiful in my opinion, but I also still think they're a bit too bland. If you compare these maps to the City Skylines 1 maps that you could see on the Steam Workshop that were made 
by uh, creators and my and by uh, map creators. Uh, these are still a bit too bland, and I've seen a lot of maps, a lot of City Scala and Swans maps in the um, in the Sim Workshop that were extremely detailed and much better looking than, than these ones. But other than that, it's definitely uh, a big improvement from what we had. How much FPS am I averaging right now? To be completely honest with you, I'm not really sure uh, because I'm not monitoring that. Um, but it's definitely not 30. It's a bit higher than that and it's definitely not 60. Okay, so back to playing the game. We have some people complaining about high rent, so I think if we zone a few more houses and provide more apartments or, or you know, habitable spaces for the city, people will stop, will stop complaining. So I think we can add a few more uh, medium density apartments. So I think I'm gonna add another one right here and another one right here and I still need to think how I'm going to have all of this city plan all of this region plan when it comes to density, it's definitely not going to be low density, you know, these houses over here, because this is very, very close to the downtown area that I want to have. So these are going to be the very least medium density, like the single row housing that you see here with the occasional apartment. Abraço, Tiago. Oh, and it's interesting. I've just zoned these medium density buildings, and the complaints for high rent completely disappeared. Just perfect. So let's see what people are complaining about. Unreliable healthcare coverage. It's very, very easy to to fix. I don't know man, this is something that I've also been experiencing in the first city that I've built which is... oh, let me just fix the camera Okay, um, a lot of people complain about the unreliable, unreliable health coverage but you know, if you look at it, you only have two patients out of a hundred, so... and you have zero vehicles in use, so what are people complaining about exactly? All the houses look the same, that's that's the point. <laughs> if you go to a modern city or a suburban place, you'll see that all the houses look the same because the uh, planning of that region, of that district, was made probably by an architect or by an urban planner and he planned every single house to, to look like that, you know? It's not like whenever a new district is built, an individual constructor is going to build this house and then another individual constructor is going to build this one and then another one is going to build this one. Usually it's a, high, a big construction group that buys this entire land and builds the entire houses and they're all modular, so they all look the same. Uh, I don't know how's it like in other countries, but for example here in Portugal, if you wanna, if you live in a place like this and you want to modify your home, like build a swimming pool, or for example, let's say you have a two-story house and you, you want to build an elevator on, uh, on the front porch of the, of, the, of the house leading to the second floor, you actually have to, to get a permission to do that. You cannot just change the 
outside aspects of your house as you see fit, you know. Okay, let's own a few more apartments. Actually, I have one here, but let's just uh, put another one right about here. Oh, this is not what I wanted to do. There we go, and now I can put a bit more uh, housing here. So I'm guessing right about here. One of the tricks that you can use to prevent buildings uh, from zoning like this is what I'm doing right now, you know, demolishing until they face the right direction and I want all of the buildings to be facing this road. Or you could just dezone this tile and, um, you know, only zone it whenever the space is occupied by, by other homes. Okay, so unemployment 3.5, nothing to worry about, 39 open positions, nothing to worry about. People are still complaining about healthcare, which is fine, not worry about that. I think this is actually a good time uh, to start drawing our first district. So, I'm going to start creating, oh actually, no. The districts are only created or are only unlocked when you reach the milestone number four. What I have right now is the specialized industry area, which I'm not using. But I will want to make an oil facility here. I'm just waiting for the right time to do it. Oh, and before I took a break, some people were saying that I could be probably placing some more trees here. That's probably true. So, let's just add a few more trees. Perhaps we can use the same style uh, trees that are uh, on the back uh, yard of this guy. I think those are the spruces. Yes, they are. So, I can build some of them here and there. Okay, and I can also place some other chestnuts. Oh, look at that. We have unlocked districts and 1 million in cash ready to use. Okay, now we can, uh, I don't know, probably some bushes, not really sure if I want to do that. Maybe I can just place some of those right here, in the corner. But other than that, I think I want to wait until the trees grow, so I can do that. How long am I streaming for? Until I get tired. I said two or three hours when in the description of the stream. But um, you know, I can still go a bit further, so I think I'm gonna keep on streaming. How does the budget grow? I mean, you just need to expand the city further. The reason why I'm Growing at a loss right now is because I have a lot of services, you know, power, um, education, police, and healthcare, and cemetery, and, and now trash management. And I have very little uh, citizens in the city, so not even a thousand.
But as you expand the city and you start building more houses, that will eventually offset you know, the profits, the tax profits will eventually offset the um, the uh, services cost. Okay, so I think it's time to start uh, expanding the layout. I think I want to reserve this spot for a high school. And this high school is the one that has a sports field, so I need to be very mindful of that. So I need to leave a huge uh, area here for that. So I think we can extend this road. Let me just delete these guides because they are a bit annoying. Extend this road here and then connect this road all the way here. And I think that's going to be plenty of space, not only for the school, but also for the sports field as well. So extending here, and you know what, I think I'm going to add another uh, zoning block. Here, so this could be used for houses as well. But I need to delete this road, of course, because that's where the high school will be. Mm, okay. And I'm wondering if I should expand this grid to this part of the city. But I don't want the city to be a bit too blocky. So like, I'm just trying to imagine how this will look in the final stages. Because we have a grid here. Okay. If I extend it way to further and connect to the train station, that will leave me very little room for services so i think i'm not going to um i think i'm not going to add another uh, zoning block here because that would take me all the way to here well i mean i would still have a lot of space uh, but no let's let's keep it simple Let me extend the grid here. Here. And here. Now I think I can connect this road to here. No, it's not it's not lined properly. There we go. Actually, I think I want this curve to be a bit bigger, so... Okay, so like this. And you know what? I think I'm actually going to do something different. Let me just try out my options.
Ok. So instead of having a road coming here, I could have it come here instead. I think I like that. I think I like that much better. Okay, just fixing my camera, sorry about that. Thank you, Emery. Thank you for the support. Yes, Ren, I know the camera freezes up. It's been happening since the stream started. Um, don't really know why that's happening, but um, it is what it is. Gotta work with what we have, so yeah. Okay, so this is where the tram uh, track is gonna go so I need to be mindful of that because perhaps we are going to have a stop here a tram stop and the train uh, I think a passenger train station will be uh, placed here so giving access to the tram then another stop here next to the avenue and crossing the, the river all to the way to this side. Okay, I think I think I should not expand any further than this, so I'm just gonna keep it at that. I think I can start and rezoning some more housing. So let's rezone all of this. And all of this as well, why not? Let me just sure that everything is growing properly. So I'm gonna dezone those areas and I can Rezone them as the city starts developing and there's some ad adjacent buildings. Roundabouts, yes, I know. Perhaps I should use a bit more roundabouts. I'm not using them yet. Arvin, my uh, graphic settings are pretty much set all to medium. And I've also disabled everything that uh, is resource intensive. So volumetrics, depth of field, dynamic resolution, all of that is disabled. If you're asking me what kind of options I would prefer, I would prefer to have everything on maximum, as obviously, you know, <laughs> but unfortunately, that's not possible. Okay, perfect. Let's take a look at um, our population distribution. So unemployment is at 15%. I definitely need to start expanding my industrial complex. And I have 16 tiles available and 2.7 million in the bank. So perhaps this could be a good time for us to start expanding and use some specialized industry. Now, I want to build, like I've said, an oil industry here, but this is way too far. So I'd have to buy all of these tiles to build the road access all the way here. Or I could simply take this train line, build a passenger 
a station here and another here and hopefully people would use the train to travel all the way to the, the oil industry. However, um, as I've mentioned several times in this stream, the economy in this game is a bit broken at the moment. So if we don't have any road access in our specialized industry, I don't think trucks are going to be able to export the goods properly. Because I think there's a bug with the cargo station or something like that. Um, but to be honest, I'm a bit ignorant about that. I'm only speaking based on what I've heard, so I could be incorrect. So don't quote me on that. Do we have roundabouts in Portugal? Yes, we have lots and lots of roundabouts. <laughs> So, specialized industry. I also have this oil uh, segment here, but it's way too close to downtown, so I don't want to use that. And I have some farming here. You know what? I think... I think... This is worth expanding to. It's a bit too close to downtown, yes, but perhaps we can have our downtown area enclose and encapsulate uh, the farming district. And there, there's going to be a bit of a contrast between uh, populated areas and farming area, but I think that could be cool, you know. So yeah, I think we might do that. And for that I need to buy these tiles. So let me just think about this for a second. Let me plan this properly. Because I will need road access, but I have a highway interchange here, so that's not going to be a problem. I also need to be mindful of the tram track that is going to cross all the way here. So it will probably interrupt the fertile land a little bit, but perhaps we can have the tram track curve alongside the coastline, you know, and not interfere with the farms that we are going to build here. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to commit to that. So, let's buy a few tiles. I think I'm going to need all of these. And these ones as well. And I also have some more fertile land here. Which is, is perfect. Perhaps we can con make a continuous uh, farm area here. And make everything look good. Tramline along the river would make for great view to the customers. That is very true. That is very true indeed. So. Let me just take a look at the elevation here for a second. So the terrain is a bit steep. But that's fine, because this is going to be farm area, so there's not really a big problem with that. But I do need to think about the road placement. Because ideally, the road would be parallel to this one. To the highway, you know? But that might not be possible. And if I take a look at the specialized industry, in order for this to reach to um, the shoreline, they should be placed at around here. 
So perhaps I'll even need two sets of, of roads to cover all the area. For the time being, let me just place a bit of this. Okay. Can I can I disable this? I cannot. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Okay, they will serve as guidelines. So I'll need I'll need to have a road at around this location to make sure I'm covering all the necessary space. And perhaps we can use the you know the um, the contour lines for the elevation changes. So let's see if I take an alley. And I start building here. Oh, this is not what I want to do. I want the continuous uh, curve. Okay, something like this. This can be the access uh, points for uh, the farms. And of course, I think I don't want to connect this directly to the... Wait, hold on a second. Why can I not relocate them? Oh, this is dumb. I have to bulldoze them. Yeah, so this is good, but I will need to have an access road because I don't want to zone them directly on, on the alley here. Uh, a, a train station next to the farmlands, yes. Um, but I don't think I'm going to expand my train track all the way here. I think that station, that cargo station is going to be placed somewhere uh, somewhere along here. You know, I will simply extend the train or the rails all the way here and then I will connect to the nearby uh, farms. And then these farms can follow along this road, cross the river here, there will be a bridge over here and they will export the goods through the station that will be here. If we're speaking about passengers, I will have some tram tracks that will bring access to this area. Okay, so let's build the access points. I think I'm going to use gravel roads. So I could either do some gravel roads that are parallel to this one, like this, and have the buildings zoned here, or I could use some perpendicular roads and place the farms here, which I think is better. Okay. So something like this. And this can serve this entire area.
Okay, so this one can go all the way here, so I need to build another one probably around here. So a road that comes all the way here. something like this as far as I know as one green plantation doesn't have to be on top of ground resources you are correct Mert. Um this one the livestock farming does not need for talent all the other ones do need something Why do you destroy them instead of relocating them? Because I cannot relocate uh, specialized industry buildings. There's no button for it. There's a focus and there's an area tool, but I cannot relocate them. That's a reason. Thank you, Silent Lamp. Really, really glad you enjoyed the content and I hope you're having fun. Okay, so I'm gonna need another one here. Actually, you know what? I think I am going to move this road a bit further back so that I can take advantage of the full uh, area. Because at the moment, as it is right now, I'm not taking advantage of this a fertile land area over here so let me just do that in a second but if I do that then the road is not going to look as good as it looks right now because the elevation changes uh, are a bit different but let's see Let's follow along, I don't know, perhaps, perhaps this line here. Um, I think I prefer the first one, actually. again so the tram is going to cut around here so this area is going to be completely inutilized so that's something to think about around here uh, 
and follow this coastline. Okay, I think that works. I think that works indeed. Let me just uh, plan this a bit further because I want to know where the tram track will come and that will be over here. So it will probably not cut straight ahead. It will probably curve and go alongside the river. I'm still not sure about that. But I need to know that my farms cannot go past this area. So if I can just uh, extend the roads here. Okay. And here as well. I can just delete this and I also don't like how the roads are straight so I'm gonna work on that as well something like this perhaps we can change it a little bit later on but I think this works thank you for the support Philippe thank you for the support emote Thank you so much for thank thank you so much for being here guys and enjoying the stream. I hope you are enjoying. Okay, so with this do I like this layout? I mean, it's okay, I guess. Let's start working on the actual district painting or the specialized industry painting area, which I think it's one of the most interesting parts of the game. You can add a lot of character to your cities like this and to your you know, overall industries. Okay, connect straight to the um, guideline that is going to be for our tram. Now we can bring it all the way to the coastline. Something else that we need to do, I think I want to adjust this road. that around here okay so like this we can wrap perfectly around the road and the building itself I also think we need a cool divider between both farms because they are going to be adjacent to one another. A 
that we'll think about that in a second. So this is the maximum where I can go. And this one on the other hand I can go... I cannot cover everything actually. There's a bit of an empty spot here. Which we can use to place, I don't know, perhaps an industrial signature building like a... Let's see... A dairy house for example. I don't even know how big these things are, but uh, we'll see. Or maybe I can just build it on this side instead. So if I place it here, it will allow me to cover all the way over there. But I'll lose some fertile land in this area, so what do I prefer? Let me just adjust uh, this, the thing here for, me, for a moment. But before that I need to, again, fix my camera. trying to follow the coastline of the river, but uh, I'm not sure this is going to look good. If it doesn't, I'll just, uh, you know, forget about it. I mean, I guess that's okay. But perhaps I should leave a, a bigger of a gap between the river and also the the farm area. Because this seems a bit dangerous. Okay, okay. So this one, as I've said, is going to lose uh, some um, fertile land here. And this one will not be able to cover this uh, small gap here. But that's probably not a problem. So I think we're going to go with this, with this option. To adjust the road again. I think this is it. No, it's not. What's the guy that, that I should have to snap to this? Is it the grid one? 
No, it's not the zoning grave. It's everything but the zoning grave, perhaps. This is good enough because now I can bring um, the farm all the way here. The road doesn't end right at the fence, but I mean, who cares, man? this side these farms are going to be way too big for the amount of people that we have in the city but um, I don't know I'm not really worried about it I think it's better to have open places and have this business suffer than, than having a high unemployment rate. And houses we can just just provide more. pathway between the far mountain river that could be cool yeah and um, a tree barrier pathway that would also be very very cool perhaps we can do that separating the farmland from the main road that we have here so instead of having everything snapping to the road we could have a row of trees in the middle and we can also have a tree barrier separating both farms you know so that could be another another solution so we'll see let me develop this area and continue working on it so i could leave as you guys said a gap between the river and uh, the farm area. Wait, what's overlapping here? Hello? What's going on? Oh, is it here? Oh, okay. Both farm areas were intersecting to one another, didn't notice that. So there's not a lot of farmland here, so no point in extending further than this. Perhaps we can end at the straight line. This one is way too next to the hill for my taste. So we can move it a bit back.
That's my CD, by the way. So people are complaining about high rent, so perhaps we can... Actually, we cannot because we have a lot of um, workplaces available, so there's no one so there's no workplaces available for these people, and people are not moving in. I think that's that's a big deal with that. That's why these houses haven't been zoned. And we have this guy on the other hand complaining about not enough customers, which is a classic. So let's just uh, continue developing the farm area, and hopefully it will be um, fixed all of those issues. Should you build one big farm or build multiple one type farms? Honestly, I don't really know. Um, if we're ta talking about different industry types, I think it's always better to have all of them because if you have local production of those, you don't need to import it. So you can actually get the resources at uh, a lower price, or at least that was the logic with City Skylines 1. I'm assuming that's the plan for this game as well. Uh, if we're talking about different farms of this, you know, uh, same type uh, farms, and whether you should build one big farm that occupies all the all the circle, all the radius around it, or whether you should uh, keep it smaller. I mean, I think that's a bit irrelevant. I try to cover as much of the circle as possible because that's one less farm that I have to worry about in the, f in the future. That's, you know, another different asset. Unless I'm aiming for something very specific, which is not the case here. Okay, so I think this needs work. I like the idea of having the tree barrier, so I think... I definitely want a tree barrier between this road and also the farmland. I'm not liking how the farmland is up against the road. So what I need to do is grab all of these points and take them back a bit. Okay. And here as well. And now I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna grab a pathway. And I'm gonna make a guideline. So I think I'm gonna leave one block in between. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a pathway, then I'm going to um, connect the pathway, or I'm going to connect the farm area to the pathway itself, then I'm going to delete the pathway, and I'm going to place trees between the pathway and also um, the road. Not the pathway, but between the farm area and the road. So this is going to be a temporary um, asset pretty much. So I think two is enough. I also don't want to take a lot of space. So for this, I think I need to disable the road guidelines. It doesn't have to be perfect, of course, but... Uh, This is going to be a straight road. I'm 
I'm using the wrong curve again. And my video froze again, so let's fix that. There are probably more accurate ways of doing this, but uh, I don't think it is important enough. I think this is going to be good enough. Okay. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, looking good so far. Now do I want to build an existing one or should I? Let me see. Okay. Should I have a row of three separating both farms as well? I think so, right? Yeah, let's try it. it. Doesn't line up to the farm. That's that's a pity. But um, okay. Let me just try and make this road as regular as I possibly can, or as straight as I possibly can. So something like this. Now this one can go against the pathway because we're going to delete it and build a row of trees there. I think a 90 degree angle is acceptable in this location. Uh, no guys, it's not really a face reveal. Um, I've done a stream on Twitch in the past uh, with uh, facecam, but it was on Twitch and not a lot of people saw that, so, you know, understandable. Now, do I want to bring the farmer all the way to the corner? Do I want to be that meticulous? Really? Let's disable the guides.
Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm really enjoying how this is turning out to be. I know that it could be a bit hard to understand because this is uh, not the final product. And there's a lot of stuff to do yet. But you will see. Just be a bit patient. Okay. Okay, so now I need to focus on the shoreline. That's going to be a pain. Well, not a pain, but perhaps I can use the same trick and use a pathway as a as a guide, you know. So let's try and do that. bring all this all the way here and oh I don't want to do that okay So this is going to be the limiter between the farm area and also the river. Actually, I think this needs to go a bit higher because of the river, because of the of the hill. a small park along the river edge that would be great if you could place parks against the pathways which you cannot perhaps in the future and I don't want to have a heli going across this river I don't think that's suitable for that but yeah perhaps I can keep this pathway here alongside the, um, the river and just to add a few mo more trees For now I'm just trying to make a shape that I like. And that's been quite a bit of a challenge. Okay, that's acceptable. Okay, I think I like this. So now we just have to extend the 
the farm area. And I also need to be mindful that there's a tram track coming around here, so perhaps I need to plan for that as well and make yet another guideline. So this is taking a lot, a long time to do, guys, I know, but trust me, the end result is going to look good. So I think I'm going to use this one, okay. Now we have all the delimiters. My favorite beverage, uh, I don't know. It depends whether I'm having alcohol or not. If I want to have a bit of alcohol and it's very hot and sunny. I usually go for beer. You know, but for moments like this where I'm just live streaming and, and playing games, tea is good enough. Actually, not good enough, it's actually the perfect drink. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Just need to figure out this endpoint. I'm wasting quite a bit of farmland, but that's okay. Okay, I think that can be the basic shape of our farm area. Now we need to decorate everything with trees. I'm gonna delete uh, not this pathway, but this pathway, this pathway, this pathway, and this pathway, and also this pathway here. This pathway will eventually connect to the city um, when I extend it that far. For the time being, I need to and decorate this thing with trees but before that we can make the farms functional so we need to make a highway access to this farm and for that i think let me think about this I don't want an interchange connecting directly to here, you know, perpendicular to the farm area. I think I'd rather have this road go all the way here and connect like this to the highway, you know what I'm saying? I think that would look better. But if I do that, then this road will have to be a bigger road, perhaps a highway, and we can unlock that right now. Um, so let's do that. I will need highways, intersections. Do I want a custom intersection or a default one? I think I'm going to build my custom intersection. Um, just because of the weird angle of this highway. But I can unlock roundabouts now that I'm at it. Yeah, that's true, the time moves very, very slowly in City Skylines 2. The link to the background music is actually a live stream. 
uh, if you google on YouTube lo-fi girl there's a live stream uh, right now of the channel called lo-fi girl and that's what I'm listening to right now so I'm gonna unlock these tiles so that we can better prepare our intersection now what am I gonna do So we need, this is going to be an intersection that's going to provide access exclusively to this road. So I need to have four different pathways, you know? So I need to have an on-ramp to this road, an on-ramp to this road, and an off-ramp to both of those roads, so I need four access points in total. So perhaps I, what I can do is continue the, the road. I think I'm going to turn this into a highway. No, but a highway is going to be very overkill for this area. I'm going to continue using the alley as a guideline. Disable the guides. Go alongside the elevation changes. Now. Hold on, this is not good. Okay. Now let's see, let's place a roundabout here. And this can be a highway roundabout. Now we can start building our access points. Hmm. Just thinking, what would be the best way to do this? Or, you know, something that wouldn't look terrible. Why did that delete the roundabout? Come on, man. Ah, interesting. So forget the roundabout for a second. I'm going to convert this to a highway segment. here so this can be an access point okay we 
this can be another access point. Now, let's see how well I can do this. I think this would need to go underground. Oh, come on, why can I not turn off here? Something like this. Okay, and now this road can serve as the connecting point to this um, highway segment. Okay, so something like this. Now, of course, I need to change the orientation. And you know something else that we can do is something like this, you know, and create dedicated lanes, you know, so like this, if you convert this to a one lane, you know, the left lane over here can be dedicated to keep moving forward, and this one can be dedicated to turn uh, right. And we can do the same over here as well. So instead of having a two lane converging into a or diverging into a three lane, two going straight ahead and one uh, moving to the right, you can do something like this. And back where, where they merge, they go back to being a two lane. Now I just don't like this connection. So. Let's rebuild this. Still not really satisfied. Okay, so do I have everything? Did I forget anything? I don't think so. Uh, so if you're on this highway, you can get here by going right, okay, or keep moving forward. If you are coming from this side, on the other hand, you can catch this side and get in over here and that will lead the road, okay? And if you want to get out, you can Take this left side to go here, you know, to the other side of the highway, and here we can be moving forward or go back. Or you can take the right side and go straight ahead. Yeah, I think this is it. Looks, I think it looks great. What do you guys think? Elevation changes, yeah, perhaps, perhaps that's a bit too deep. I agree. Um, 
let's try and rebuild this. How can you invert a lane on this game? That's very, very simple. So, grab your uh, the road you want to upgrade to. This is a one lane road. And here we have a one lane highway. Click on this button, the replace. Then select the segment, right click, drag it, and select the portion of the road that you want. Or actually not right click, left click. So left click, drag it, and it changes the direction. Okay. Again, very easy. Let's rebuild this then. Hopefully we can make a better looking uh, tunnel. So when the ground becomes grey, I believe that's when it starts to be a tunnel, right? Okay, I think that's it. But I don't want it to go dead up against the, the highway, so... Let's do this again. for me but perhaps we can do something here or maybe not Okay, I think we're working on something. Okay, this is a bit awkward, but uh, the elevation changes are better than what they were. And perhaps, not really sure if I want to overthink this. Uh, same issue. Way too close against the um, the highway. Alright, 
I think we have something. Okay, so the highway is built, so now people now have a way to get from the suburbs back to the farms. And of course, eventually I will have another bridge here to provide an easier access. But for the time being, this is more than enough. And I will also have a tram track here to provide access to the passengers. Now, one thing that I want to do... Perhaps I want to place a roundabout here. Okay. And then we can have another road. So, perhaps a four-lane road. That will then provide access to this side of the map and the other farms. This road can be kept, perhaps not as an alley. That's probably not the best type of road here. But a regular two-lane road should be enough. Okay, so water access was now provided. Now we need to add power and water services. So for this, um, I'm going to make a temporary connection from here to my city. I think I can connect them directly to the uh, to the cemetery. It seems they're not being connected for whatever reason. They need to be connected here. Yes, they do. Okay. This is only temporary. I'll deal with this later. But for now, I think this is enough to get rid of the warnings. Correct? Or not so much? I will also need some electric cables, but... I'm a bit confused why... Oh, because it's not connected. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay, perfect. Let me just replace that pipe. Okay, so now we just need power now. And I think a regular electric cable is enough. Not like this. Like this. Is it? No, because this road is not connected <laughs> to this one. So now it should work. There we go. Finally, we have two functional farms. And of course, again, these power cables are also temporary. But they get the job done. So, I already have... Uh, these things filled with employees, that's perfect. Now we should start decorating this with the trees that I was uh, telling you guys about. And before we do that, I just want to fix this a little bit because I don't really like how this is uh, as shaped out. But
Okay, that's cool. So now let's decorate these sweet trees and then we can move on to something else. Because I've been working on these farms for way too long. Way more than I wanted. And I don't want you guys to be bored. Well, I'm deleting this, uh, these trees, but that's, that's not really relevant. Because now, I can grab my trees. And let's see, what kind of tree do I want to put here? Chestnut seems to be way too small. I think these are alders, right? But I'm not sure I want to put wild trees over here. Perhaps some pines. The pines seem small. Birch, perhaps. Spruce, oak, ooh. Oak. I think I'm gonna go with oak. Do I have any oak tree over here? Okay, so when they grow up, they will turn out to be like this. Is this a decent tree to use as a splitter? I don't th I don't know, it looks way too bulky. What about these ones? This is a birch. But the birch is way too thin. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with 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 a bird with the oak. And we'll see what happens. I'm gonna put them right alongside the road. Now we can start working. Oh, I actually forgot to check something. Does this tree fit here? This is important because we'll need to use this as a splitter as well. But I think it just fits. Um, by a thin of a hair, but I think so. That's cool. place a line of trees like you can place yeah the prop line tool that's <laughs> that would be really really nice to have okay so now I think um, yeah I'm gonna continue along this road
Okay, I like how this is turning out. Okay, so no room for another tree, that's that's fine. Okay, there's our splitter. Now I think I'm gonna do the same here, right in the middle. scared for a moment thought I couldn't place a tree there but thankfully there's enough room something cool I hope I'm gonna go at a straight line and now I'm going to start curving but unfortunately I cannot uh, connect there so let me try and move from here instead Actually, I think the gap was okay. I think I am satisfied with how this has turned out and eventually um, when these trees grow they will look much fluffier than what they are right now oh I forgot this side I also need to place trees here it's true and perhaps along the coastline of the river as well but perhaps on the coastline we can put different uh, trees because you know the oaks are way too bulky you know as you can see and if you're walking alongside the pathway you know you perhaps you want to have a clear view of the river so perhaps we can place some thinner trees like these ones for example the birch
I have been doing very well, Tawe. Thanks for asking. Okay, so let's continue. Almost there. Okay, cool. And I think these ones are not properly placed. Okay. Cool. Farming industry is done, finally. Kind of upsetting that you have all that work. You only have like 100 uh, job vacancies or 100 job positions. But uh, let's take a look at uh, the city stats. So unemployment is at 20%. I definitely need to zone some more industry. But yeah. So this school, 200 out of 1,000 students. So no point in upgrading it yet. This landfill. It's doing very, very well. It's for the budget, I'm still losing a little bit of money, but not worried about that. This guy is complaining about not enough customers. Exactly the same building. Miss Move It. Uh, yeah, Move It is, is, was cool. I didn't like using it that much. I didn't like to be dependent on it. But yeah, it was a very big tool. Uh, 
How do you feel being watched by people from all around the world? It is very humbling to me to have this many people interested in the type of stuff that I do. Um, really, really flattered that people would use their precious time to watch me play the game. Um, whether I could be as big as other YouTubers, that's completely debatable. Uh, at the moment I have a full-time job, I gotta focus on that. Uh, YouTube is not profitable for me, uh, so this is a hobby and will continue to be so uh, for some time, so that's my approach to it. But yeah, really really glad that I have a lot of people enjoying the content. Okay guys, so I think I'm gonna make some more tea and use the toilet again, okay? Then I'm gonna read some comments, uh, I think I missed a few. And I will be right back, but before that I need to give you guys a a cool look of the city, uh, perhaps not focusing on the farm area, but focusing on everything. Hold on. Okay, I'm wasting time with this. Last try. Okay, this is fine. Alright guys, I will be back in a moment.
All right. We have some abandoned buildings here. Okay. So I said I was going to read some comments. Um, As always, your city is beautiful. Thank you, Reddy. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ren. Glad you are enjoying your Sunday. Build forestry industry across the road. I don't know. Uh, maybe, but I think I am going to use, if not forestry, perhaps some animal produce. What's the name of that? Like livestock farming. Because, you know, there's a lot of farm area here that could be used to make a dedicated um, and a specialized city. Uh, you know, a city that's specialized in, in, in farming. Uh, and I can connect all of these different areas with any, with livestock farming because they don't require any um, fertile land on the floor. So it, I could make a gigantic area, you know, covering this entire area that I'm highlighting with nothing but farms. And right alongside the coastline of the river, that would look very, very uh, realistic, I think. With the exception of this hill here, because farmland is usually uh, right next to the shoreline you know with easy access to the water and this uh, hill prevents that but you know it is what it is but yeah that's that's the plan so not sure if I'm gonna put any forestry Maybe I can, but that's uh, something to worry about uh, in the future, in your future stage. So let me just take a look at the situation that we have right now. So unemployment 16%, that's a clear indication that we need to um, add more workplaces. So this farm area is not enough. So I think I will have to expand my uh, temporary industrial layout so I'm gonna buy this tile and that should be enough for me to uh, extend I think this is enough space for industry to provide uh, enough jobs for the time being so let's do that So, how do I want to do this? Perhaps I want to build another zoning block here. Well, this is going to be temporary, so there's no point in worrying too much about it. So, let me just make something interesting here let's go by 200 meters oh there's a lot of beautiful trees here I don't know if I want to get rid of them well but they will grow back in the future so whatever make another connection to this uh, road, this access road. I 
Let's go by another 200 meters. The grid is a bit messed up, but perhaps we can fix it. If we do something like this, okay. Now I think I want to wrap this end just like the way we, we've done it here. So this is 120 meters. Let's go 120 meters here. This is 56, I believe. Oh, and the camera is frozen again. Hold on, I'll, I'll fix it in a moment. Let me just uh, finish up this layout. Alright, so here's some of spots for industry, let's build a block here, so not all of that. Thank you Giovanni, thank you Thel. 2x2 two two or 2x3 two industry, let's try it on. So this is 2x2, two two. this is 3x3. Three three. Let's see what actually grows there. Thank you, Mari. I am drinking tea. You know, I'm really lazy, I don't even take this thing, you know, the diffuser for the tea, I don't even take it off the, you know, the, um, this thing, the cup, I'll just drink it directly from there. Gives a stronger flavor. Hello Yash, nice to see you. I'm starting to have a lot of demand or some demand for offices, but I know offices require well-educated people and I have none of those. So I am not going to uh, place some offices for the time being. Why isn't anything growing here? Oh, I don't want anything sewn there. There we go. Should I keep these small houses, you know, or should I just bulldoze them and force them to be bigger? I think that would be the smarter choice. I'm starting to have some abandoned buildings, I think that was because of the unemployment. It doesn't say... Oh, entertainment. That's right, I've unlocked some parks. So, we need to start placing those. Yash, thank you so much for the super chat. 
Thank you, thank you so much. Highly appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Thank you for supporting the stream and the channel itself. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, Radney, the game has some optimization issues. Um, but the developers are aware of that. They have been releasing updates that increase performance. And on top of that, I am playing with uh, minimum settings. Not minimum, but medium settings. So that's why you're not seeing that much of a lack of quality on the stream, hopefully. And also because I have a significantly good computer. Not high-end, but a good computer nonetheless. I wanna delete these abandoned buildings as well. There we go. Now, somebody told me to check on these uh, factories. The two long and three long. So let me just check. One regular 6x6 factory has 17 employees. And factory is this big. Yeah, one employee, five employees, one, five. So it seems that the long ones are relatively uh, bigger, I feel like, for employees. And these ones that are two by two have only one. And uh, three by two have five. And if we check the three long factories, so between five and seven employees. I mean, I guess you could use them. But I have a significantly large layout, so not really a, a point in using this type of buildings here. Perhaps in another layout. Unemployment, it's still very, very high, so... I don't know, let's keep zoning some industry then. I'm gonna turn this into a normal size road. I'm going to zone industry all around it. And yes, before I forget leisure, uh, it's very easy to get, you know, uh, distracted in this game. But leisure, first and foremost, I have this thing, the playground, which provides uh, leisure within 300 meters of your school, so that's actually very, very good. Not leisure, but well-being, which is, I think it's the same, relatable, with a cost of 5,000 per month. And a normal park has a smaller upkeep of one to 2,000 per month, so perhaps I should focus more on parks and not uh, that much on, on playgrounds. But nevertheless, this is a, an asset that I wanna place, so I'm gonna place it here. And I'm going to build a second one right about over here. Okay, and it'll look great. And this school still has a lot of room for students. Another thing that I want to do and build is actually the high school. Um, I can turn it on or off. So. I don't really want to have a functioning high school at the moment. I don't think it justifies it. And also because I only have 130 eligible students. But what I can do is place it and disable it. Okay, so now I have this space reserved and I won't build anything over here. Ooh, and look at this, it's, it doesn't really fit here. So 
so I think we will have to change our plans and place the high school somewhere else so perhaps over here it has to be a bit further to the to the right can I ah, this doesn't do anything I thought you could you know disable the snapping but no It's also a lot of money to reallocate this thing, so I need to be careful with that. But I need so two blocks to the um, to the right, so that's exactly how much we need to to move it. But that way, it's not going to be centered with this road, which is a bummer. Ah, uh, that's that's really really sad. So let me try and do something different. So perhaps we can put it here instead okay and perhaps against the, the layout oh man that's that's a bummer i think the only decent combination is this one And another milestone. Man, it really bothers me that it's not centered with this road. Does removing the trees improve performance? Um, in a way, yes, because that's less assets to render. But you could also just reduce the quality of the textures of the trees, which is the same thing. Yes, zoning on top of trees will not remove the trees, it will simply hide them. But if you uh, build something on top of the tree and then delete a building, the tree will go back to its sapling state and you will have to wait until it grows back. That's what we have here, you know. Because I, the, the high school was placed over here and uh, it completely messed up or it reverted the trees back to their original state. I think my stream is buffering. Uh, is it only for me or is it for you guys as well? I'm good. Okay, so it's only on my side. Perfect. I was a bit worried. Also having a demand for a lot of things like, you know, internet and also, you know, parks. We're, we will be working on that, but before we do so, um, I need to fix this uh, high school situation. I think I will have to um, improvise, so I'll have to unfortunately delete this. 
then I will bring it all the way over here. But I'll also disable snapping. Because I want to build um, a road there. But I guess I cannot do it in one go. I'll have to move it once, build the access road, then you know, do that, which is a bummer. Okay. Now I need to get this central part, connect it here, it will give it um, everything it needs to work. But now I need to fix this layout. And for that, unfortunately, I think I will have to destroy or break the zoning grid. And you know what? I don't think I mind that. I think having an irregular grid, it's not a big problem. So instead of having one block between buildings, I will be having three. Not really worried about that. So this is 86 meters. Okay. Now I can have this road go all the way here. Perhaps. But for, I don't know. this road maybe here no okay and I need another access point here go Yeah, I see the stream buffering a lot. Um, let me see what I can do to improve this. If I can do something. Okay, so I've just changed the bitrate on my OBS settings. I decreased it a little bit. Not sure if that's going to be the solution for the issue, but um, hopefully it will be, or at least it will help. I'm gonna continue this pathway. All the way here. By the way, what other buildings do I need? Okay, so I'm good when it comes to space. And you know what? I think I'm gonna reserve this 
part in the middle for some leisure. So let's see what we have. We have small parks. We have playgrounds. We have campfires, but uh, I don't know, that's a bit dumb to put, to put here. Perhaps a playground over here would look uh, would look great, but not a regular playground, a big one. So let me start and start unlocking stuff. And yes, somebody uh, already asked about parking lots. Yes, don't worry, we will be having parking areas, so I can unlock these. Right now, the the reason I haven't placed them yet is because. But frankly, we don't need them. I don't see a lot of cars parked on the streets. Except here, because we have a lot of medium density. But for the time being, that's that's okay. So. I have a large city park that I can place here. And a large playground, which is not really a large playground, it's not that large. So maybe... You know what? I'm starting to have some ideas. So let me bring this alley all the way over here. Make this type of connection. Uh, it doesn't look that that good. What if I upgrade this road? No, not really. Okay. So if I bring the Halley all the way over here. Then I bring it here. I can have some dedicated place for um, some facilities like, you know, a couple of tennis courts, for example. Mm, maybe here. Okay. And a playground, perhaps. Actually, let me bring these guys here. Then this alley can connect here. I think I want to move them a bit further back. Perhaps you can even have a small shop here. You know. Provide a bit of leisure, like, you know, a boutique, so that, or a cafe, so when people who are playing tennis can just leave and grab something to drink when they're tired. But I want this building to be facing this area. Okay.
As for the playground, um, I'm I think I'm concentrating everything at on just one spot, but um, so I don't want to place a lot of buildings here. I'm just gonna place another couple more, like this large playground. Okay. And I think I want to curve the um, the alley. And this is not. turned out okay now we can surround everything with trees and make it look like it's one singular park Deadpool Chinese thank you so much for the super thanks I highly appreciate it. Okay, so all of this area needs to be decorated. But before we do so, I want to focus a bit more on parks because and there are still some areas that are not being covered. So I think I can have perhaps a large city park here. But I'm not really sure how would this look like. I think this is a bit overkill for this for this area. Don't really like it. I think I'm gonna place a dog park right here. Right here, okay. I also need to zone this area. It was left unzoned. Okay, I think this looks friendly. this street perhaps I can put a basketball course in the parking lot I'm going to delete a lot of houses in the process so There's a big hill on this side, so this is not the best location to do so. Mm. 
What size is the smallest parking lot? Not that big, actually. Yeah, let's just see how this will look. Okay. And now the parking lot. Okay, so it's not terrible. I think I can live with this. Oh, this is a tennis court. This is the wrong asset. What I want is the basketball court. This one. And it doesn't seem we'll be having another buildings on here, which is just fine. We can zone some houses here. But not an apartment. Or actually, you know what? Let's keep the apartment. Let's see how it looks. provide some leisure to this area as well. I mean, I could be placing a, a large plaza here, but uh, not really sure about that. I think I want to move this basketball course all the way here. I don't like the way this turned out to be. Let's build another, another alley. lot can come here and I can put a couple of basketball courses here I can rezone this. Okay. can continue the alley all the way there actually let me just check something make sure it's at the right angle not sure why it messed the zoning spots but uh, I mean I can live with that
Okay. Now let's, uh, before moving on, let's start decorating this stuff. Before I forget. So let's still leave these trees and start placing more of these, so more spruces. Oh, and look at this, they already started growing. Look at the smallest size spruce that I've placed yet already, compared to the, to the ones that are already growing. And I think they are going to grow even higher than that. Okay, and same thing over here. Not sure if I want to keep this area a bit different because it has these uh, leisure assets. Oh, and what's wrong with this? Okay, there we go. The alley was curving a bit, a bit weird, and I didn't like it, so... Now, should I put the same trees over here, or should I, should I do something different? Um, I think I'm gonna do something different, actually. First things first, let's delete all the trees that are inside this spot. And also these ones that I've just spawned. Okay. This pathway, I can bring it here, but not create a crosswalk there. Okay, like this. And now I think I want to create a pathway that goes around the high school, you know. Let me just delete these trees as well. No, I do not want to bulldoze that building. Oh, what happened here? I okay, also need to start worrying about um, fire stations and also road maintenance services. That's something that I can do after I work on the path. Lukito, thank you so much for the super thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Highly appreciate it. Thank you for supporting the stream. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you so much. Thank you, Enrique. Glad you enjoyed the stream. So 
So now I think I want to grab these alders and start uh, making some decorations. What tree did I use here? It was the chestnut. Well, that's also a very good, good tree to use. So. So we can use these chestnuts or these mighty alders. I think I'm gonna go with the chestnuts. I cannot place them here, right next to the uh, alley, which is a bit of a shame. But I can, at the very least, separate the um, the high school from that place. So let's see. Quick posture check. Okay. Okay, now let's work on pathways, perhaps we can make a connection here. Okay, connect it there. Continue the pathway there. Uh, I want to bring it all the way here, but I don't know if I want to connect it. To this uh, alley, I don't think I want those that many uh, crosswalks. So this is fine. So for here. It can be like this. Now we can connect it with a cool curve. Also do something like this, you know. Now that's that's done.
think I like it. The tree function as a remove tool, probably, who knows. No, I don't think so, but uh, I think you can use the brush to delete trees. No. No, I don't think so. So, how is this shaping out? Uh, not bad. So now we just need to extend the pathway layout all the way here. Let's see what kind of connection can I build here. way too complex what about this ah, it's way too weird way too weird for my tastes I'll just line it with with one of the um, crosswalks. Hold on, I don't think this is correct. This is correct, and this is correct, okay? Keep it at that. all the way here I can but it doesn't look that that good now does it what about here does it change anything I will have a bunch of people walking right in front of the of the stadium with this design so Yeah, I think we can we can keep it as it is. But I also think I want to do something like this. Okay, create a crosswalk there and remove this weird stuff over here. Okay, so have a crosswalk only there. Now I can delete this segment.
What happens if I do something like this? Well, isn't that beautiful? I gotta say guys, I really like this pathway network that I'm building right now. What do I think about the game? Um, mixed feelings. If you compare this version of City Skylines 2 with the first version of City Skylines 1, so when City Skylines, City Skylines 1 first launched, this game is a complete game changer. It's much better. You know, for me, City Skylines 1 without the LCs and without mods is completely unplayable uh, or very limitative. That's not the case with City Skylines 2. I think there is a lot of room for improvement, but the game has definitely its flaws and its problems. Um, a lot of performance issues, um, the economy is pretty broken at the moment, so I'm basically just using the game to build nice layouts. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. But I think the developers are on top of what's happening and they know the issues that the game has and I think they will work towards fixing them. At least that's what I'm hopeful about. I wanted to create a, a crosswalk, but it's not letting me. Okay. Okay. So more time for tree planting. I think I'll have the chestnut go all the way here and wrap around this pathway. I can keep the spruces, the spruce trees alongside the avenue. Mm, yeah, let's do that. So let's start with uh, these spruce trees. Yes, still streaming, fairy. Glad you're back. this side actually I'm not gonna put anything on this side you know because I don't know if I wanna build something else here so I haven't decided so we'll keep it as it is 
we can now start placing some more chestnuts and I don't know what happened here okay I don't know what that was about Hello Vitali, yes I will save the stream, it will be available for watching on my YouTube channel. Yes, I am taking a look at the RCI demands, but uh, doing something else right now. Citizens can wait. It's not like they're going anywhere. I love seeing the citizens using the pathways that I've built for them. How nice.
Okay, so what do these guys want? So high rent, so there's definitely more room for housing. But unemployment is also fairly big. Dude, it's always this particular shop that complains about not enough customers. It's always this one. Public transport is not in yet, Harry. Mm, you know, I want to place some more industry to get rid of this unemployment. But uh, at the same time, I have a lot of positions open, so... Now what? Let's, let's do something. Let's grab our district tool. This is something that I should have done some time ago. And let's... Make a district here, oops. Okay, so. What do we need in this district? We need well-educated citizens. So those are the vacancies that are opened at the moment. So the vacancies that we have right now in the city are for well-educated citizens and the unemployment are mostly well-educated and poorly educated people. Sorry, uh, poorly educated and educated people, so the brown and green. So I can safely zone more industrial to reduce the... Um, and in, in, unemployment, but I would also have more open positions for well-educated, which is something that I do not have because I still do not have college education in, in the city. Another thing that I could do is zone some more um, specialized industry because the job slots that these guys have is only for poorly educated and educated people. So that would help addressing the uh, unemployment situation that, that I have right now. But at the same time, these uh, two farms only have 150 job openings, so 78 plus 61, that's uh, more or less that. And for the exact same size, you know, for the exact same area, I can have 900 positions um, with regular industry. Let's also take a look at this. I don't think I've taken a look at this uh, thing, but our grains we are producing a lot of grains and we're exporting all of that. I would like to see how much money I'm getting out of that. So 
So, 8,000 per month for the grains, for grain exportation. That's not a lot. But I think... I can definitely do some more specialized industry and expand to this area. My only question is... Do I want to do that right now? Or do I want to keep developing the city? You know what? I'm going to keep developing this part of the city. Okay. And then I will focus on that. Because I'm in the middle of something. Before I do that, let me just make another district. square you know what I like the name but these are spruces that we have on the sides of the of the avenue so it's actually going to be spruce square And these guys are still complaining about the lack of internet, so perhaps that's something that we can address right now. Uh, we are losing 20,000 a month, that's not a lot, so... One of the things that we can actually do as well is start and place our fire station. So the police station can be upgraded uh, with a, a garage extension, that's not going to take a lot of room fire station can be upgraded with uh, some other stuff that I believe they take some space so we need to be mindful of that but I want to put my police station right next or I want to put my fire station right next to my police station so to say I think I'm gonna place it right here right across the street Actually, I think I'm going to put it here instead. And those upgrades... Oh no, look at that. It doesn't require any uh, more space. Okay. I'm not sure if I should build an alley for this. Maybe I should, so let's do that. But at the same time, you know, fire trucks need easy access to the main structure of the city so they can get to places faster. Mm. Let's just do it. Small roundabout there. actually trim the roundabout a bit further that was a bit too much
rock mining area you mean for industry ferry <sighs> I think I can have a little bit of everything in the city there is room for ore here right next to the rail road so that would be a good location for it We need grain and vegetable for processed food. I think the next farm that we do, like over here, it can be vegetable. And then we need some more place for fertile, for, um, for textiles. And I think it would, can be here or even here. We'll get there. So. Fire station is done, now we need to start placing some internet service and I know that people are going to complain about mail service as well. I just know it. So, I will start with a small radio mast. And I think that can be placed on our park. Maybe on the central park. It kinda requires a road though. Let's put it right next to the parking lot, see how it looks. Um, I'm not really sure about that. Everything got green though, which is great. Yeah, good coverage, but I don't like how it's so close to the other buildings. It looks like it was just plopped in there. Okay, so we'll keep it uh, over here for the time being. When I start decorating this area, I can I can take care of that. Now we need to build another one here for our industry. I think I'm gonna place it on this corner, this curvy road. Just uh, make an access road for it. Okay, I think that's much better. Now it's for mail. I'm gonna wait until people start complaining about it, then I'll place it. Primelium, the music that's playing right now, it's from a live stream that I'm watching called Lo-Fi Girl, so if you Google, not Google, but if you search Lo-Fi Girl, Girl on YouTube, you will find the live stream from the channel called Lo-Fi Girl and that's what I'm watching and listening to right now okay so back to decorating I'm 
not sure if I want to have something here. But over here, I think I want to cover the, the track, you know, the football track with these chestnuts, you know, right alongside this road. But for this building, however, I don't know if I want to cover uh, the view because I think it looks really, really majestic. And I'm not sure how big these uh, trees will grow. Actually, let me try and find someone. See if I can find a chestnut. Are there any chestnuts around here? You see these ones. Uh, I think these are going to grow even higher than what they are what they are right now so maybe not a good reference point but um you know for the time being i'll just keep on plop plopping them Bruce on the street. Uh, I don't know, I think I'm reserving Spruce for the main boulevard. Actually, you know what? Maybe that's not a bad idea at all. Come back to this. I also want to put some chestnuts here, so Linden, linden trees. Where is that? Is that North American? Yeah, North American.
now another row. Actually, you know what? But I think you're right. I think I'm gonna go with Spruce. The problem with Spruce though is that I cannot use the same spacing that I've used here. So I'm not really sure if that's going to look good. And another row over here. Actually, I think it's also a good idea to save the game <laughs> because I haven't done so yet and if the game crashes, it's going to be a very big problem. Okay, so I think I'm gonna move on and start doing something else because I've been uh, wasting a lot of time, not wasting, but spending a lot of time decorating stuff and uh, that's probably not the best type of content to have long term, you know, on a long stream but uh, another thing that we can do is provide uh, walking access to these fellas Perhaps we can even unlock the tram and start working on that. But before I do so, let me... I think I am going to extend the park that we have here all the way to this side of the river. Perhaps we can make a bridge, you know, um, leading to this side of the river. So it provides walking access to these farms. We don't have a lot of workers here though, so probably not going to be very effective. But um, it would be worth a try. How did you stop the small farm building from spawning? Not sure what you mean by that. Would you elaborate, please?
Now, bridges. We have this one. We have this one and we have this one. Which one do I want? Maybe the covered one? That's more uh, unique, I believe. So, okay, let me check the height level of this. Cheapest for people walking over, they're all the same upkeep. Now, I'm still not sure how I will um, have my tram curve around here. So I will probably have to adjust it or, or I'll have to adjust um, the pathway when I'm actually building the, the tram system. But for the time being, I think I want to bring it all the way to the ground floor. Keep it as flat as possible, something like this. I wonder if I can upgrade this to that type of bridge. No, I cannot, but if I cheat the system a little bit and I create a segment here, Distance too long. Let me do something else. How about now? Really? There we go. Will you look at that? Skip it like this. Now for this area, we will have to be a bit more creative. I think I'm gonna grab this spot. Thank you. 
Okay. Trying to make a curve around here. Let's try something different. So let's go by 16 meters. by 8 meters here I think this is 8 meters so. something like this I'm gonna grab this middle point this fella allows me to. And connect it to the main pathway. Alright, I think this distance is too long, I don't think there's going to be a lot of people um, crossing to the other side, but uh, we'll see, I could be wrong. And I think I want to refine this junction a bit better. So something like this. And I also want to bring the pathway all the way here. The game allows me to. So that I can now connect it to this part of the layout. Ooh, I really don't like that elevation change. That's because I messed with the terrain here. Um,
run it through the side of the cemetery yeah that could be that could definitely be an option maybe let's do that for the time being and see what happens Let me just make a small little curve here. Is it just me or the music stopped? started again okay so let's take a look at this parking lot so not a lot of people are using it actually no people are using it so this is not the best location for it that is proven so let me Put it over here instead. And hopefully that will change now. Employment at 15%, I'm definitely going to be zoning some more industry to address that. I have all of this spot, so I mean, why not? Yeah, I'm still playing, but I'm about to end the stream in a little bit because I'm getting tired. And I have something, some other things to do. So industrial demand went down significantly. And population decreased all the way to 6%. Snowing on Green Valley. Uh, yeah, sure, I can give a quick overview. So, this is our industrial district, quite temporary yet. So, I'm gonna move all of this industry somewhere else um, because this is going to be part of the downtown area of the city. So this is the residential district that we have so far. I've been working a lot on decoration um, and I've also decorated this entire area. I've put the high school, which is turned off at the moment. 
um, because we don't have a lot of students to, to fill it with. Uh, I've been working on decorating having everything with pathways and trees, which takes quite a bit of time, so this is something that I can probably gradually work uh, on um, as time goes by while I develop the city. Uh, we've also been focusing on leisure and entertainment, so I have this uh, area dedicated to a couple of basketball courts, I have these tennis courts over here, I have this coastal park that goes alongside the, the area of the river, you know, merging with the cemetery, and then finally we have some dedicated uh, farming industry. You know, so I basically spent a lot of time uh, building this and contouring everything with trees to make it look uh, good. And of course, this is, this will be extended in the future. But so far, this is what we have. So, unemployment all the way to two percent. I'll definitely be needing to think about college in the future. Uh, that's true, because uh, there's some demand for uh, office, actually a lot of demand for office. And in our industry, I also have some positions for well-educated citizens. So something to keep in mind. Now, I think I am going to start zoning some office buildings, perhaps not a lot of them, um, because I know, at least on my uh, previous city, you build just a couple of them and your office demands pretty much falls. And I also don't have education. Uh, or college education in the city, so there's there's no point in developing that uh, that type of 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 building uh, very much. Now I wanna zone it here, I believe, right next to this avenue. I don't really like how this grid has turned out, so perhaps I can delete this and delete this road as well. Rebuild it. No, it messed up. is a bit weird so let me just turn off this guide and hopefully it will be easier and there we go perfect now I'm gonna build a couple of buildings not sure I want to go this big. Um, let's try it. So four buildings. That's enough to bring the RCI demand all the way down. In fact, I think I'm gonna design this and only have this area. The with office buildings. Let me see how a big one fares. And just as expected, the demand for office completely dropped. Did I share my save games? Uh, no dice, I usually don't do that.
Now, how about some commercial? Uh, people are not complaining about commercial, so I think I'm gonna hold on and not zone anything. As for the parking lot, we now have a lot of people using this parking lot. It's cool. You know, if you want to check places that need a parking lot, um, look at the sides of the street. If there's a lot of cars parked at the sides of the street, that means there's need for parking in that particular area. So, yeah. And you know what? I think I can even upgrade this to a larger parking lot. How would uh, something like this uh, fit here? Let me let me check it out. It fits well, but I don't like this small elevation change here. Bit weird. Oh no! It seems that I've also not zoned anything here. Let's take care of that. And uh, let's keep that as a smaller parking lot. Perhaps I can use the large parking lot in other areas. Perhaps we can zone a bit more apartments. I think I want to keep the apartments close to uh, this road, this main avenue. So let's do that. So this is one apartment. Let's zone another one here. So these guys uh, have four well-educated workers. This one doesn't have anyone, so I'm not going to zone any more office for the time being. And for the coal power plant, actually I'm going to rename this to uh, Coal Industries. Because it's right next to the small coal power plant. Still a lot of positions for well-educated citizens. But it's interesting because you don't have any well-educated people in the in the city. So those citizens are basically being imported, quote unquote, from other cities. At least that's my understanding of it. Let's take a look at the bridge. And yeah, nobody's using it so far. Oh wait, look at that. Let me just pause the game and see. Take a look at these chaps. Where is he going? He's going to green, uh, green enough biofuel. So that's this farm. Does he work there? Yes, it does. And this mm. one is unemployed, but he's going to half a grain, which is the other industry. And he's walking, so people like to walk long distances.
I think I'm gonna place another parking lot nearby. Because we have a lot of cars here. What if I put one at this corner? For that I need to be careful. This thing needs um, expanding. All right, let's see how it develops. I think I'm going to add more residents to the city. The city needs expanding, so let's do that. I'm gonna zone these blocks over here. And let people move in. Can you show the city? Yeah, sure. This is my city. Do you have 60 FPS? No. I do not. I really enjoy the way the layout is turning out to be. I also don't know why I cannot zoom farther than this. It's it makes no sense. Have I unlocked any more special buildings? Um uh, Not really, I'm building very very slowly. Perhaps I should um, be a bit quicker with that, but I think I'm going to end the stream here guys, because I'm getting a bit tired. But I'll let you appreciate the snow melting in the city from this view. really nice. I really like the seasons in the game. They give a whole, a completely different vibe to, to the city. When can we expect another stream? Um, probably this week. Tomorrow would be a good time actually. The thing is, you know, today is Sunday, so I've streamed pretty much the whole day, from morning to afternoon, so from 10 p.m. to... It's almost 5 o'clock now, Jesus. Uh, during weekdays, that's not going to be possible, of course, because I'm working. Um, 
So if I stream on a weekday, that would be late at night, like from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. British, uh, British time. No. Thank you, Ren. Glad you guys in enjoyed the stream. Thank you for sticking around and watching the city developed. It was a pleasure. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you had fun. And yeah. The music that's that's playing it's on a live stream called um, Lo-Fi Girl. So if you Google or if you search Lo-Fi Girl on YouTube search, you'll find the stream from the Lo-Fi Girl channel. That's what I'm listening to right now. Perhaps I should mention that in the video description or something like that next time. Yeah, Fairy, thank you so much for sticking around all these years and for participating in the stream, that's highly appreciated. Alright guys, I am ending the stream right now. I don't know when I will be streaming next, um, but when I do decide, I will uh, schedule it on my channel, uh, just like I did with this one. I don't think YouTube is going to notify you of this unless you click the bell icon, so be sure to do that. Um, and yeah, uh, I'll see you guys uh, next time. Thank you so much for, for sticking around, hope you enjoyed the stream. Thank you for participating and spending your time with me. So, and of course, next time I stream, we will be continuing this city because I'm really enjoying what, what we're building so far. I think it looks, it looks great. So yeah, thank you so much, guys. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday and I will see you on the next stream. Bye-bye.